<clears throat> oh my goodness. Voice a little rusty. Hello, everybody. We're back again. Playing a new game today. New game, new game. This has been sitting in my Steam library for a while. I just, I don't know, I never got up the willpower at the time to play this. It is a dating sim visual novel called Amnesia that I have not really, I don't know much about it, like at all. I think I tried to watch the anime when it came out back in 2011, I think. But I was like 11 at the time. <laughs> But even back then, I could tell they did not, they did not handle the main character wonderfully. Though to be fair, they didn't have much to go off of, as you know, she has amnesia and is also the main character of a dating sim. So she's meant to be a bit more of a blank slate that you make choices through. But I feel like if you're gonna make an anime about this kind of a, a game, you have to inject her with some personality, or else it's just gonna suck. This is gonna be really bad. Hmm. But yeah. So, I did add that poll earlier to see any preference. Either people picked randomly or they looked it up and figured it out and picked based on who they wanted me to try and woo. But either way, it seems that red won. Let me just double check. <laughs> yeah, it won by one vote. So red boy it is. Without further ado, we're gonna get going. Let me in. Let me in. Oh yeah, I, I kind of just, I'm winging it with this setup here with chat over on the left and me down here. I don't think I'm blocking anything. We'll find out. We'll find out when we get in there. And I'll shift stuff around if need be, but mm. this should be fine. Theoretically. <laughs> but we're gonna do a new game. Time for some visual novel antics. <laughs> Ooh. Am I supposed to click? Oh well I am. I did. Let me let me rest my mouse behind me so you don't have to see it. There's voice? Let me turn that up a little. I don't even have to say anything then. Think, let's go. Wait, can I like? I can't open the menu right now. I was gonna see if I could turn up the voice and down the sound effect. They find out I killed a human. I'll get executed. Oh no. Oh, hello, strange creature. Can you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? Yeah. Oh, that, that, those are interesting mouth flaps they gave him. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Very dramatic. It's not often you see a three frame mouth flap loop. <laughs> not the least bit shady at all, really. Now, why don't I trust you, little elf? It's not like I hit you with a blunt object or push you off a cliff or ran you over with a car. Ha ha, hee hee, ha. Um, so anyway. <laughs> I'm a spirit who happened to lodge himself into your consciousness. Woo. <gasps> Little blushy face, cute. N nothing? No reaction to who I am or the situation you're in now? Hey, are you really okay? You can see me, right? Oh. Oh, it's showing me options I picked before. Yeah, I, I think I played this little, like, first bit a while ago. So you can see exactly what I picked that one time. Hello, Sad Raccoon. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> We're just getting started, baby. First ever time I'm early for a stream. Well, there's always a first for everything, and I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh, Bug? Yes, a bug. Uh, you must mean that I look like a, a pretty bug? Like a butterfly or a dragonfly, right? Hello, Rose. Yes, yes, yes. The poll does, it does show up for you. Okay, that's good. Because I had like opened up YouTube on my phone at the time. 
purpose and it didn't show the poll. I don't know, that's weird. Well, in that case, actually, before we continue, let me just... Oh god, where's my mouse? There it is. I'll unpin. We'll dismiss that guy and just leave the poll up. There's still time if you haven't voted in the poll. As of right now, red is winning by one vote. <laughs> But there's still a little bit of prologue left before I choose a route. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Very confused on what this game is. Basically, we're this little lady who has this creature, which at this point we don't know what he is, lodged in our brain and we can't remember anything. It's basically a dating sim visual novel, I think. Again, I don't know too much anyway about it. Uh... I think it can get pretty dark in some of the roots. I'm not sure. Pick my least favorite color. All right, all right. We're getting options. Actually, it's giving me the option to pick in OBS. That's, that's not very helpful. Oh no, we got two that are tied. Oh. I better go slow. And hope someone comes in here to break the tie. <laughs> Watch them just vote green and then we have a three-way tie. <laughs> that is... Uh, that'd be interesting, actually. <laughs> I think, honestly, this doesn't happen very often, but I, I have a lot that I like about each of the, the, the different options designs, so I don't think there is a bad choice here, personally. So, have no reservations when you choose one. <laughs> well, I'm glad you understand my interesting fashions oh my god <laughs> look up anime girls in the first color palette that comes up you could choose you know what that's a good idea I'll, I'll do that if I need to break the tie <laughs> oh god he's laughing at his own bad pun <laughs> I'm stuck with you anyway I'm glad you can at least see me I feel bad talking over his wonderful performance, but, you know. <laughs> this is an English-speaking chat, and I don't know if anyone's, like, drawing at the same time and doesn't want to have to read. <laughs> Still, you're really calm. I thought the moment you woke up, you'd be like... I think that gets the emotion across pretty well. <laughs> or something like that, but wait, your personality didn't fly off with your memories, did it? Writing an outline right now? Ooh, fancy. Work done. Oh, this is bad. Well, uh, for now, let me just explain things from the beginning. Perhaps have safe search on, though? Nah. I'm an adult. I don't need safe search no more. Give me the Doban Honkaros. Babonga Honkaloos. <laughs> I'm Orion. I'm a spirit from a distant world. I was on my way to the human world for some business, and by accident, I sort of collided with your mind. I don't understand it myself, but for some reason, I'm trapped inside your soul now. It looked like you lost consciousness from the impact. And, well, this is kind of hard to say, but it kind of looks like your memories get addled too. What a mess! Sorry, go ahead and yell at me. I know I said a lot of things that probably don't make sense to you, but please say something. Wakarimashita. Drawing your Minecraft next stream. Yeah, I, I kind of was like, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. It's okay, I finished Hello Barkman, by the way. I forgot to say that part. Hi, welcome in. <laughs> like, I finished the world quest I was drawing yesterday, and now the composition I chose yesterday doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I'd have to fix it. I'd have to fix everything, and that's too much work for me right now. So instead, we're just going to let this game do all the work, and I just read what it tells me. The poll does show up for mobile viewers, so I've heard. <gasps> Will Barfman be the one to break the tie? <gasps> he is! He picked yellow. <laughs> but yeah, so I was looking through my Steam library, and I was like, Oh, yeah, I have this whole-ass visual novel dating sim that I just ha I haven't touched. Well, okay, I touched a little bit, as you can tell from the 
highlighted options that I picked in the past. But I think I only played the prologue and like a tiny sliver of the red guy's root. Vibable. <laughs> oh, your Minecraft stream is so chill and vibable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's one of the, the best things about doing Minecraft streams and stuff. I think it's the same with drawing streams too. It's just generally kind of vibable. Vibable content. But I'm in the mood for plot today. I've done a lot of drawing and a decent amount of just vibable games. And then some Overwatch, which is definitely not vibable at all. But I, I like that game, so. <laughs> That's me being self-indulgent whenever I play Overwatch. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, we're doing something a little juicier. Something that fans of a game can come back. This is like my replacement for Outer Wilds. <laughs> Lot. I don't believe you. What do you mean? Look, I don't know these anime boys, okay? Also, chat, you better get ready to help me decide, like, important choices. <laughs> I can't, I'm not doing this alone. <laughs> anyway, I understood. <laughs> really? I guess you did just wake up in a weird place with someone not really human talking to you. Plot. The title says you're kissing anime boys. Hmm. Funk emoji. <laughs> Something's not adding up. You have no choice but to believe me given the circumstances, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Sus. I'm really sorry for my carelessness. I'll do anything to get your memories back. Besides, if I don't, I'm not sure I'll be able to separate from you. I'm not absolutely sure, but... I think I'm trapped inside the place where your memories used to be. Think about it like your memories were pushed out by the amount of space I take up. God damn it. Your volume is misplacing my mem memory juice. <laughs> Put so much sugar and honey into the oatmeal I'm eating, it still tastes bland? Oh, I'm so sorry. Sometimes that happens with oatmeal. I'm <laughs> getting more sugar. Oh my god. Sad raccoon's about to go catatonic. So, if your memories were to return, then I'd get pushed back out instead. There might be another solution, but aside from what I just said, nothing really comes to mind. Diabetes, here I come. Diabetes any percent speedrun. Glitchless. I feel awful that I made you lose your memories. Let's work together and try to get them back. I... Alright, thanks for understanding. I kind of expected a... You better start running. I would have understood completely if you were that harsh with me. You're pretty accepting of things, huh? A very mellow temperament. It might be strange to say, but I'm glad that it was in... Uh, it was your mind I got stuck in. Well, I guess that's just how it is. From now on, I'll work with you as hard as I can to get your memories back. I'll do anything you need me to do, is what I want to say. But I actually have some limitations. The limitations. Simply ascend to godhood. No limitations. I can't interfere with the human world. I can't touch you, and you can't touch me. What's more, people around us won't be able to see or hear me. So I can't investigate much for you, and I can't move in your stead. In fact, I can't move more than 10 meters away from you. Oh my god, Paimon. I said I'd do anything, but it looks like all I can really do is cheer you on. Mm. Well, it's better than having no one, right? No matter what, I'll always be by your side. Besties? I promise I won't be like the culprit was Orion all along. I mean, you are still useless, though. Oh! Your words really sting, huh? Stab me right in my heart like a knife. L. Bleed out. <laughs> So, you really can't remember anything? Genshin's looking a little diff lately. This whole time I'm probably just going to compare each of these to a Genshin character. Cook recently made a chocolate lava cake drowned in chocolate and powdered sugar and chocolate chips. I love chocolate, but I also love insulin. <laughs> exactly. Dude, I am surrounded by sweets all the time now since I work at a bakery. It is suffering. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but... My last, uh, the last time I had work, back Tuesday, I, I learned that for like 
a quote unquote lunch break, you could just eat whatever you want from the from the bakery. I mean, obviously, don't grab a whole cake or something, but I grabbed one of the small peach melba tarts and ate that for my lunch on Tuesday. <laughs> Thank God that was my last cooking glass. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've decided to sample one of everything now. <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah, exactly. And the customers don't suck that much either. It's great. I think the worst kind of customers are the ones that come in and they don't know what they want, but they start, like, talking to me while they're deciding. So they'll say something and then be like, oh, maybe not, and then try to say something else. And I'm like, can you just figure all this out and then come to me? Thanks. <laughs> You're really just making this way harder than it needs to be. It was way too sweet. Could barely eat three quarters of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that, that problem a lot with a lot of chocolate cakes. Or things that are, like, too chocolatey. I'll have, like... Oh, I'll have a couple bites. And then immediately be like, I need to stop. It was delicious, but if I have any more, I will die. I will fall over. Alright. So you really can't remember anything? What about your name? Do you think you can at least remember your name? Oh my god, I get to enter my name. Use the same name as before. No. I don't even remember what the last name was, but I'm gonna... It probably wasn't good. <gasps> Look at us, we're so cute! I don't know limits when it comes to chocolate. I mean, honestly, fair enough. Oh, I was gonna say, look at us, we're so cute, but chat's cover... Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me just... Wait. <laughs> Get rid of that and hide chat for a second. There we go. Look at how cute we are. Cutie. All right, put everything back. <laughs> there we go. It's probably not too important that that side of the screen, the screen is covered. It's just this one bit that's bad. Okay. What should my name be? I'll probably just end up going with Emmy. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm not thinking of anything. Mmm. Four milk? No! I don't even know what that means. I feel like we're about to get like... I don't know, you're gonna gotcha me or something. Gonna get my ass. <laughs> Your stomach feels like it's closing itself? That's usually where you start throwing... Drown downing! Downing a bottle of water. I can read, I promise. <laughs> you know what? You need to show me the proper respect. Sama. There we go. What does four milk even mean, barf man? <laughs> Exclamation point. No. Let's see. Up dog. <laughs> I could do four milk. You know what? We can make it cute. We'll be milk chan. Where's the K? I'm blind. Ah. Milk. I don't know what it means. It just smushes together. I'm milk summon now. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like a weird sex act. That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> I have my reasons, I promise. Mmm. I don't know. See, I, some people are always so good at thinking up names for these things. And I'm always here just like, oh, fuck. I gotta put a name in now. No, but let's just be cute. Let's just be cute. Nickname could be Four Milk. <laughs> I don't want that to be in the, <laughs> in the whole playthrough. This whole game. All four, well, probably more than four. But like. All four of the maid protagonists, I'm just walking around like, what's up, I'm four milk. <laughs> this is awful. We're going with this. Sorry, chat. I'm usurping you on this one. <laughs> Popeye spicy chicken. M's. Yes. That's me. I see. That's good. It's a good start to remembering. All right, then. There's no point in staying here, so let's go back to your world. Hmm? What is this place, you ask? 
Well, it's hard to explain. The space between dimensions, that's the closest description. This world has many possibilities, and there exist as many parallel worlds as there are possibilities. For example, in one world you may be going to school, and in another you may just be working. This is the space between those many parallel dimensions that isn't connected to any of them. Dip mangoes in ranch? Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's an interesting choice. You know, let me know how that goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but why? Mangoes and guacamole. Now that's, that's probably going to be tasty. <laughs> Everybody's turning into lucid. Oh god, oh no, it's spreading. <laughs> Like, as long as it's not rotten, you're fine. Why is it getting worse? The mangoes and buffalo sauce. Ooh. You know, I can't say I approve, but it's not like I can stop you. Mangoes in your oatmeal. Now, that's a good choice. It's like you say one horrific thing and then something that's not that bad. And then another horrific thing and then something that's pretty alright. Keep going back and forth. To put it bluntly, right now you're suspended in the rift between worlds. But I don't know from which world you came from. No, but any world is still a world that you were in. There's no such thing as a right or wrong with parallel worlds. It's like whiplash, yeah. Dip mangoes in the cup of the side of the street. No! Don't do- oh my god. I have a heart attack. <laughs> Give me agita. So let's go back to the world you were in and recover your memories. There are lots of ways to do it, like talking to your friends or looking at your phone's history. Oh, but just a sec. Be very careful who you trust. Humans are brutal and cruel things. You should only tell people you really trust about your amnesia. Otherwise, they might try to give you memories you never had. Tip mangoes in an air vent? Oh my god. It's just gonna get dusty and gross. Tip mangoes in quantum theory? What is this? Outer Wilds? <laughs> it's Quangos. Quantum Mangos. The Quangos. <laughs> Finding Quangos on the Quum. <laughs> I'll shut up now. <laughs> like, you owe me $10,000, so you better pay me back or something. There's no way you could tell if what they said was true, right? Some horrible jerk might introduce himself as your boyfriend and take you away from your actual one. You might be told you don't have a job and then get fired later. Or someone with no relation to you tricks you into joining a pyramid scheme. I'll perish the thought. Or maybe you wind up in a situation where you found yourself being shipped off overseas. Oh my god, calm down, bro. Right? It'd be terrible if that happened. <laughs> I think you need to calm down, buddy. You think so? Oh my god, I got so confused, Rose, because at this point, MLM just means man-loving man, and I was like, what's the yaoi's got anything to do with this? I always get confused. <laughs> the mango is in a dictionary covered in soy sauce and a vault locked in a basement of- oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Let's think the opposite. You get lucky and meet a nice person and you tell him or her your situation. In that case, what would happen to you then? If you said you had amnesia, wouldn't they force you into a hospital? You'd probably be confined to your hospital room until your memories returned. Even if you were allowed outside sometimes, for the most part you'd be shut up inside, right? For other people that might be okay, but for you it isn't. Your memories haven't disappeared because of any mental or physical problems. They're being pushed out by my existence. So staying home or at the hospital wouldn't help. In fact, without stimulation, you'd just get worse. Oh, I, I'm supposed to be going out and getting stimulated, you say? <laughs> Looks at the title of the stream. Sitting around spacing out in the hospital room without any memories would just worsen your mind. You might forget how to drink water or even how to breathe. Dude, what is this plot? I have amnesia! Why do you think the game's called Amnesia? I have to go get my memories back. <laughs> Advice to avoid such a terrifying ending number one. Gather information. 
try to actively meet people and investigate what kind of person you used to be. Who you, your family, and your relationships were, and what you were doing. <clears throat> oh my god. Increase your knowledge and fill up that outer part of your memories. <laughs> I need enrichment. <laughs> I need to be put into a cage with plenty of water and food and a scratching post. <laughs> Once you do, I'm sure it'll trigger something and the rest of your memory should return. As that happens, I'll be pushed out and eventually be able to separate from you. My brain connected that with hamsters, yeah. It's a long shot given our situation, but at the moment, it's the best plan we have. Sorry, I keep talking about nothing but negative things. But first, I think it would be good to confide in your family. They won't believe that a spirit got stuck in your head, but they'll at least provide some information. Think of keeping my mangoes to myself? May you know what? Maybe. <laughs> so long as you don't dip it in anything weird, please, for the love of God. <laughs> We can think more about the plan after that. Now, let's go back to your world. The method is simple. Oh, I just... Sorry, I hit my spoon against my mug of tea. The method is simple. Just close your eyes and think. With no memories to influence you, whatever world you can recall is the world that you desire. Only, I think there are several worlds like that. <laughs> Choose the world that you feel is right. All right. So y'all paste yellow, which I think is the spade. No. Diamond. Yes. Hold on, I'm going to blow my nose. <laughs> also, don't, don't mind the fact that some of them are, are clicked. I never made it very far in, so I have no idea what's going on. Keep my mangoes in dry water. Diamond equals yellow. Well, this is process of elimination because I know heart is red. I'm pretty sure spade is blue. Clover is green. So yellow is diamond. <laughs> All right, boys, let me end the poll now. We're out of time. Yellow it is, baby. Yellow it is. <laughs> Didn't know my actions had consequences. Well, here we are. It's time for the consequences, baby. All right, here we go. Diamond. Yellow boy. Yellow boy. <laughs> August 1st. I'll return you to the place you were before. Let's go. We'll make sure that this is the right boy, too. Hmm? If it's not yellow, you gotta restart. I will, don't worry. What? Something's pulling me. Ow. Oh, my head. My shoulder. That really hurt. Oh my god, what is happening to this man? Gonna dip my magazine in the month of July. Oh my god. Abstract concepts. <laughs> what? Wait, Ems? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> oh, Lord, he coming. <laughs> What? Alright, we got the right one. Hey chat, you happy with your choice, chat? <laughs> with your out of context choice that you knew nothing about? Also, I just need to know, I need you to know that every single one of the boys looks like they step straight out of a hot topic, so if that's what you're worried about or like unhappy with, you have no other choice. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay? What happened to you? Who is this person? Do you know him? Why are his arms so disproportionate to his torso? Because <laughs> he's a skinny anime boy. He's got twigs. Twigs for arms. No no beef on this man. Another thing, Barf Man. None of them are beefy. <laughs> they are all very slim. <laughs> Oop, there's the, the daily mandated very loud engine. <laughs> Bro needs to lift something. Anything. Someone get this man like a carton of milk to live. Oh. Oh. It's okay now. We'll go home together. Okay. Who is this yellow fellow? Tell him to go back to reading his creepy pasta magazine. 
You must have been lost for a long time. Were you scared? <laughs> Don't cry, you're okay now. I'll walk home with you. If anything scary happens from now on, just call for me. I'll protect you from anything scary, Ems. I promise. Oh my god. His name is Toma. Genshin Impact? Oh my god. The fixer of Inazuma? Are you okay? Didn't mean to just ask that. <laughs> He's repeating himself. Uh, I'm so dizzy. Was that a memory of yours just now? It's good that a memory came back to you already, but what the heck's going on here? Dating visual novel stream is just us roasting the dude the whole time, and you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I was returning you to your room, but then out of nowhere, I needed to make an emergency landing. Wait, what? Hey, are you not able to see me? Does that mean I've been pushed out of you pretty far? In other words, that memory just now was very important to you. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? Could this guy be the boy who was in that memory? Tomo, was it? I guess it would be natural for you to remember the past when you saw his face. Yep, yep. And you still know him now, even after all this time. The two of you must really get along. I guess so. You seem really dazed, and I don't think you have anemia. You probably hit your head. I'm taking you to the hospital, got it? We're all just Cinderace. It's true! B Baka punches him. <laughs> No, wait, the hospital's bad. She's okay, there's nothing wrong, stop it! <laughs> Not me, I like mongos. <laughs> I'm okay. Mm. Oh my god, wait, his arm looks like my arm. A twig. <laughs> just bone, just bone. You might be okay now, but after what happened, you need to get to the hospital. You must have hit your head pretty hard. Yeah, I know that's the right thing to say, but we can't go there. I feel like if he carries anything, his arms will snap. He's about to carry me to the hospital, so uh-oh. Good thing we're already on the way there. Mind going in a taxi? Come on, let's go. Wait a minute, please give us time to think of an excuse. <laughs> it just looks like bare cylinders. <laughs> So you said you discovered her collapsed on the roadside? Yeah, we had plans to meet for lunch, but when I arrived at our meeting place, she fainted. I understand. And she was face up? And I am yawning. Ah, uh, a high possibility that she hit the back of her head. Her name is... Ah, it's written right here. Is she a student? He's smart. He picked a taxi. He still had to pick me up to get me in the taxi. I'm just saying, I wouldn't have budged on my own. <laughs> Force him to pick me up. She's the first year at Miyago University. We're on summer break now. Oh my god, an anime set in college? No way. Okay. University student. Any pre-existing conditions? None at all. She's usually pretty healthy. Could be anemia. I'll run some basic tests. If she hit her head, we'll need to be cautious for some time. Does she live alone? Any family? Her parents live far away for work. She lives alone. I see. But I suppose we should go in here and stop yawning. Ah! Ah! Nom nom nom. Keep her at the hospital for a while. Thanks for answering all this stuff, Toma. They said they'll keep you at the hospital to run some more tests. It's good we're on summer break right now. You don't have any surface injuries. Are you hurt anywhere? Excuse me, have you finished taking her temperature? Is she gonna sleep in the middle of the stream at this point? I'm fine, I just keep yawning. <laughs> I'm not like that tired or anything. My body's just not listening to me. <laughs> it's fine. No, I will have to end stream a little early because I have work tomorrow morning. <laughs> but it won't be like, it'll be like probably 10, 11 ish that I end. We'll see. I'll find somewhere satisfying to stop before I do, though. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, here. It says 36.2 degrees Celsius. Ah, uh, this is... Uh, American! I don't know what that means. Bro! <sighs> See, I yawned again. Ridiculous. Just staying for observation, I see. Do you happen to have an insurance card? I'll bring it over. It's in your purse, isn't it? And I think you left it at home. 
I'm gonna borrow your house key for a bit. That's okay, right, Ems? I understand. If the patient happens to be in the examination when you return, please deliver it to the nurse's station. <laughs> Celsius, yeah. Hello, FR. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, wait. I'm kind of in front of the... D Why do they keep moving the bubbles? How am I supposed to predict where it's going? <laughs> Gonna dip my mangoes in the state of Mississippi. You're the only miss I, Sippy. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Oh, it's not like that. I'm sorry for the confusion. Huh? Oh, I see. So that means Toma isn't your boyfriend. And is he just a friend? Seems like you've known him since you were kids. Anyway, I'll get going now. If you need anything, call me. Hmm? A note? It's my cell number. I'll come as soon as you call. We didn't already have his number? What? There's no need to worry. She could always call for a nurse. She'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. But still. <sighs> anyway, I'll come back tomorrow. Get plenty of rest. Could you please change into this hospital gown? We'll be taking your blood pressure and an x-ray test later. Mississippi, 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 Miss. Some of the boyfriend figure or something? I don't know. Right now he's a childhood friend, it looks like. But we're trying to piece it together. Because <laughs> we have... Wait for it. We have amnesia. <laughs> I love you can physically see me lean into the mic on stream. Oh, you've suddenly been thrown into a bad situation. But it's true that you hit your head, so it wouldn't hurt to have those tests done. Mm, your head still hurts a little. I just hope the worst out. God damn it, man! How am I supposed to read through the dialogue if I keep yawning? <laughs> My god, okay. I just hope the worst that happens is that you get a little bump. Look like a frog when I- What do you mean? What do you mean I look like a frog, huh? What are you talking about? I look beautiful. Like a beautiful moth. You're just jealous. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I just realized the new keyboard that I got, it's like dip your mangoes in a frog. Oh my god, you're getting mucus all over it. I just realized that the, the new keyboard that I got doesn't have the numpad, and that's where all of my expression toggles were. Wasn't full screen, maybe that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How dare you not have me full screen? <laughs> 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 Mm. Ah. Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay. Oh, right. I'm merged with you so I can feel everything you feel. Let me use the space bar so my mouse doesn't keep flying all over the screen. Oh, no. Space bar gets rid of it. Oh! That's good to know, though. Whenever we get the fancy uh, images, I could just hide it. Enter, maybe? Uh, Z? Z works. Okay. It's like Undertale. Because of that, even though I don't have a body, I'm able to share your senses and experience things like pain and cold. But don't worry. If you ever want some private time, I can always cut the connection for a while. Private time, you say? Stimulation? Private time? Oh my god, this game. I didn't think this was so, uh, risque. Steam didn't warn me. You do look like a frog. Hmm. Hmm. I'm disowning you. You're not my chat anymore. Banned. Banned the lot of you. Be gone. <laughs> focus. I can't focus. We should know this by now. It took me an hour to start actually drawing something yesterday. <laughs> I spent an hour just like... I drew two lines in an hour. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty good at reading the mood. Oh my god. Thanks, Orion. Let's go. Bro mode? Ultimate wingman? Okay, that should conclude the test for today. Please get plenty of rest tonight. Good night. Thanks. Otsu, otsu. <laughs> if there aren't any issues, I wonder if you'll get out tomorrow. Oh, right. Do you want to check your cell phone? You might be able to find some details about your friends. Let's see. Where is it? 
Where can it be? Did you leave it behind? <gasps> no, not another yawn! Please, please, I'm crying. I li okay, I literally had a fucking, a whole thing of gamer sucks. And then a Coca-Cola. Like, why am I yawning? I should be so pumped full of caffeine that I should be bouncing off the walls. Like, what's going on? Yawn count? Hey. <laughs> Someone start keeping the yawn count. I think it's been like, what? Maybe eight? Eight already? I don't know. Someone watching the VOD keep the yawn count. <laughs> put it in the comments. VOD watchers, put, put in your predictions for how many times you think I'll yawn. <laughs> You're gonna go now? Glad I could stay longer this time. Let's go. Yes, have a good night, Sad Raccoon. Goodbye. You're old is what's happening. I know, I'm ancient. I'm just, uh. Oh. Mm. Okay. It's not here. It's likely that you left it at home. We'll just look for it when you get back. Wait, huh? Now that I think about it, didn't Toma write his number on a piece of paper and hand it to you earlier? Does that mean that Toma realized you weren't carrying your cell phone with you? Oh well, we can't help it if you just don't have your cell phone now. Let's just go to sleep for now. I hope we can leave the hospital tomorrow. Is joining every 30 seconds what awaits me next week? Yes. When you join us in the ranks of the elderly. <laughs> the boy? Look guys, it's he. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, pixels. Oh, caught me in the middle of another yawn. He. <laughs> Heart emoji. Over here. You can't see me, but I'm right next to you. Have you forgotten about me? No, I doubt you've forgotten that much, right? But you sure slept a lot. Although I guess the only thing to do in the hospital is sleep. I wonder if they'll do more tests today. I doubt they'll just come in and be like, Okay, you can leave now. Hmm? Is someone coming? Good morning. Are you feeling well? We were planning to do an MRI today, but the machine has been having some problems this morning. Yanni's gonna exceed the amount of fingers on my hand at this rate. I'm so sorry, I know. We'll have to take the MRI tomorrow. I'm very sorry. I'll come back to take your temperature after breakfast. Just relax and rest for today. No way. Your situation is just getting worse and worse. With this total lack of stimulation, your mind will just keep getting duller. <laughs> what kind of nurses have you seen to use that? Like, she's not going to be important. She's going to disappear soon, so it doesn't matter what voice they give her. <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't be good if you left the hospital without taking those tests, and there ended up being some major problem. It's alright, I'll just become a vegetable. It's fine. You fell asleep again. Well, there really is nothing to do here. Oh, someone's here. She's not gonna be forgettable if you use that voice. Exactly. Oh my god, look at his arm. It's It got worse. It got worse. And you know, the art is generally really good, but I will say the anatomy on this man's arm, right now especially, oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Toma. Toma, that's not... You're, I don't know the name of the bone, but the, the bone in your upper arm seems to be a little bit short. It's a little short. There's not, not a lot of room there for, uh, ooh. It should be about twice as long as it is right now. Let me tell you. Is it okay to be up? Dude, I should be asking you that. Are you okay? Please put your arm down. I brought your insurance card by yesterday, but you were sleeping, so I left it with the nurse. <laughs> Lord in heaven. <laughs> Oh, thank god. Okay, it looks a little bit- it's still really thin, but at least it's not, like, short. <laughs> you don't look as pale today, seeing how your head isn't bandaged. I guess the injury wasn't too bad. Dude, she gotta censor that. No, gaze upon it in wonder. But she still do seem pretty spaced out. Are you really alright? Oh, right. I asked the nurse, but apparently the MRI machine is broken, so they can't take a scan today. She also asked that I let you get more rest. 
<laughs> his long ass finger. His hand was fine. Come on. Nitpicky. <laughs> she said if I kept coming by, it'd be too much excitement for you and you'd have to stay longer. No, 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 no. Please accept. Oh, oh my God. Orion. <laughs> Guys, please. <laughs> I'm live right now. <laughs> Why is- why did he turn away from me all of a sudden? Oh, because he's leaving. Never mind. This is a good sprite, though. I like this sprite. Anyway, seeing how that's the case, I'll just go home for today. I'm glad I got to see your face. I feel a little better now. Oh my god. Oh my god, cut. Chat? Chat, is he flirting with me? Oh my god. I'll come back tomorrow. See you. Orion really said hamster brain to avoid depression. It's true! Your only source of memory is just left. Oh, this is a real problem. At this rate, not only will you not be able to remember anything, you'll actually get worse. Let's leave the hospital as soon as they do the MRI tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky chat's censoring this. I just got jump scared. He's way too close. Toma, I'm gonna need you to back the fuck up. Thanks. August 3rd. Ooh, is it nighttime? You can tell because it's blue now. Fuck, another yawn. <laughs> oh! I pushed a button. Uh, uh. Fuck it, let's save. Yeah. This is bad. We're getting enough stimulation. And also. Hands, answer me. Hey! Uh oh. I'm going vegetative. I thought this might happen, but I didn't expect it to get this bad. This isn't good. I thought you'd be able to get out of the hospital today. I... I'm sorry. They said the MRI would be fixed by tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see for another day. I can't believe them. I sure hope they don't tell us to wait until tomorrow again. To top it all off, our last ray of hope, Toma. Toma. Oh, neck? They said they won't be able to do any scans today either. They just asked that you try to get some rest. Just passed on that message and then left two minutes later. He should have stayed and reminisced about old memories. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. This environment's no good. The hospital's too dangerous. Let's go home tomorrow after the MRI scan is done, okay? We're breaking out. Why is everyone so close to me? Please, personal space, man. August 4th. <laughs> what do you mean you don't understand this plot? We got a little supernatural gremlin in our brain that knocked out a bunch of our memories. When did they get in the hospital? After we woke up. Toma saw us because we passed out in the street waiting for him. And then was like, you probably hit your head or something. Let's go. To the hospital. Good morning. Today's the third day you've been in the hospital. And finally on the third day, your condition has worsened enough that you can see me. Uh-oh. Why does this little gremlin care? Because he's trapped in our brain case until we knock him out by getting our memories back. Where did the goblin come from? He was on his way to visit the human world when he smush crashed in our brain case. SMH should not paying attention to the plot. Well, to be fair, Barfman wasn't here for that part. Maybe I should have paid attention to the intro, yeah. <laughs> you could always go back in the VOD later and give me more views. Don't forget to watch all the ads. <laughs> I bet if you weren't able to see my royal cuteness every day, things would be pretty dreary around here, right? <sighs> Sorry. We were starting to separate, but then we ended up merging back together again. In other words, the memories that we were returning to you have been locked away again. If you don't get out of the hospital today, it'll be really bad. There haven't been any issues over the past three days, so I'm positive your injuries aren't having some terrible effect on you. That's why you should really insist on being released. It doesn't matter if they try to stop you. Understood, little gremlin. No issues with the MRI scan. Okay, everything looks good. You can leave the hospital this afternoon. Someone's coming to pick you up. 
<sighs> well then, they give you the okay to leave pretty easily. Just run out the door. Just start sprinting. We braced ourselves for nothing. And who's coming to pick you up? Your family? But nobody besides Toma showed up while you were hospitalized. Someone's here to pick you up. Make sure to step in the nurse's station before you leave. Who's going to stop you? The nurses, probably. Good morning. Are you up? Wow, so Toma really did come to pick you up. He's good at taking care of you. I'm grateful. Male wife, male wife. <laughs> he really is just like Toma Genshin Impact. But seeing how your family didn't visit at a time like this, I'd hazard a guess that they live pretty far away. I asked about your test results. I had a lion say it was family, though. They said the tests were negative of any issues, and that the injury in your head is light and should heal in two or three days. I just go directly to his arms. Look, it's even blocked this time! He's fine. It's okay, Toma. I still think you're pretty. <laughs> and just now, Barfman, you brought this upon yourself. <laughs> They also said your memory seemed to be a little hazy, so I should watch over you for a while. Apparently this happens pretty often to people involved in traffic accidents. They don't remember anything about the incident. So they recommend that I watch you for about a week, and if you show no signs of improvement, they need to re-examine you. Anyway, let's go home. I'll give you some time to get dressed. Just come out into the hallway when you're ready. Just think, chat. We're stuck with him until we get the good end now. <laughs> you gotta sit with this choice you made. You dug this grave, now lie in it. <laughs> Got the arms of the Whoville guys from Horton Hears a Who. I haven't seen that movie, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it's finally time for us to leave the hospital. Oh, this is great. It's good that you have Toma around. We don't know a way to break your house. Uh, <laughs> break your house? Excuse me? Hello? The way back to your house, or even your address. <laughs> and it sounds like King the Doctor came up with their own reasons that your memories are a bit wonky right now. But we can't slack off. If we don't recover your memories quickly, we might be returned here. We need to avoid coming back here at all costs. Oh, right, Toma's waiting for you. Hurry up and get ready, then we can meet up with him outside. Gonna Google to see if they all have arms like that. I don't think they're all that bad. Well, I'm blowing my nose one second, chat. I am mute for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the nice, smooth, light jazz. Barfman, they're all emo kids. If you look up Amnesia Memories, you'll see. There we go. Is this your place? Oh, you're finally back home. This is good. Really good. Oh, I meant the Whoville. Um. Uh... Let's check around once we're inside. You can check up on your family situation and friends. There might even be something that'll trigger your old memories. Now then, which one's your room? Oh, sorry. Could you wait here a minute? Huh? Oh. Oh, he's gone. I thought you might have mail, but there wasn't anything in there. You could check later too if you want. Oh, he checked out your mailbox for you. That's very considerate. I checked and they all have skinny arms. It's fine. It's fine. It's the face that really matters. Hmm. It looks the worst on Toma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rose, what was your opinion on the green guy? <laughs> he has so many belts. <laughs> so many buckles. <laughs> it's not fine, Barfman. It's wonderful. Look, we know you like the buff Bara guys, but come on. I like him twinkish. <laughs> Wait, the mailboxes are right over there. Why couldn't the two of you just check together? Hmm. No one needs that many buckles. <laughs> it's not even that he's not buff, he's emaciated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so am I. Look, I feel seen in this game. 
They're relatable. <laughs> Dude, at my job at the bakery, it's so hard sometimes because I have to carry the trays covered in like a bunch of cakes. How does he get his jacket on? It takes him a lot of time. A lot of time. So much time. A long time. It takes him an hour just to bu buckle all the buckles. You're not that bad, bro? I don't know, man. You you haven't seen me without, like, a hoodie on. <laughs> I wear a lot of baggy tops. <laughs> That's the same dude. Some of my friends were like, mm hmm well, I mean, they didn't say it like that, but they just assumed I was flat-chested, and I was like, bro, we're, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, I have, I don't believe you. <laughs> Graduation didn't happen. <laughs> In the summer, well, what was I wearing? I don't even fucking remember. Oh, I had a button down on that was like half sleeve. That still covers up the arms. I'm just saying, if I was wearing like a tank top, you'd know. Mm. I literally doesn't even have a bicep. Neither do I, bro. <laughs> so, um, he didn't take me over to check my own mailbox. I'm getting Yandere vibes from this man already. <laughs> so, um, you know how in the description of this video I mentioned that there's a cage involved? I'm pretty sure it also involves this guy. So, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Biceps still showing skinny people. I don't know, man. Hold on, I'm looking. I don't see it. I'm looking at my arm right now. Ain't nothing there. You're a liar. <laughs> I don't really get it, but maybe Toma's just a chivalrous kind of guy. Listen, your hugs don't hurt, but I feel like Tom was what I don't. Dude, my shoulders and elbows are so sharp. I think you're lying. <laughs> I really don't know anything else about Toma besides the fact that he's one of your friends. Into my apartment. I'm sure you're tired. I'll leave your stuff over here. Oh, so this is your room. I don't lie when it comes to hugs. This is very serious business. <laughs> Doesn't look like there would be much information here. Oh, right. Here. A cell phone. Your other one fell and broke, so I went ahead and got you a new one. Oh my god. Sugar Daddy. If you don't like it, you can get a different one on your own. This one's just temporary. What? No way! Is it really alright for him to do something like this for you, too? He's really helpful. Maybe it's worse because his chest is broad. I don't know if that's how I'd describe his chest. <laughs> He doesn't exactly have the, the broadest shoulders. Though his arms do look dislocated. <laughs> see, see everyone, this is why you have to draw the body under the clothes. You can't skip that stage. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> my god, arigato gozaimasu. No need to thank me. It wasn't a big deal. Still. This is the first time I heard you talk today. You're being pretty quiet. I guess you just aren't feeling like yourself. <laughs> That's exactly right, but you can't really tell him the truth. Also, why so formal? It's creepy. Just talk normally. Oh, crap. Right, he's a friend. There's no need to be so formal with him. Also, are you having a hard time remembering things, too? Seeing how formal you are with me, don't tell me you don't know who I am. Do you know whose house this is, and how long you've been living here? I'm sure you'd remember basic things like that, but I'm getting worried now after seeing you so spaced out. So, how much do you remember? Uh, that's kinda hard to answer. Uh, okay, so I already picked something last time. I don't remember what he says. Chad, do we- do we trust this guy? Do we susly say, I'm not telling you, huh? You don't get to know. Or did we tell him we don't remember much? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Chat, why'd you abandon me in, when I need you most? <laughs> I'm gonna like flip a coin. 
Something tells me you're being kidnapped. You know what? If he's the one doing the kidnapping, at least he's nice. <laughs> at least he's a nice kidnapper. All right, you know what? We're going with Barf Mans. What? Wait, is it really okay to answer so straightforwardly? Dude, I can't wait for him to go fully on three on me now. <laughs> you don't remember? Really? You're not joking? You don't remember anything? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Your injury was that serious? Oh, fuck, wait. Okay, okay, okay. For a second I was scared he was going to put us directly back into the hospital. <laughs> he can't carry you anywhere. You're being kidnapped. That's so true! You'd have to call a cab. And then we'd have proof. We'd, we'd blink. We'd blink at the cabbie. Let him know we're in trouble. Uh, I guess it's no use talking about it. The doctor mentioned it might happen, and I'm sure you'll get better in two or three days. And if you don't, it's back to the hospital. I wonder which section you'll end up in next. Maybe even neurosurgery. Well, anywhere in the hospital would be bad. This is really problematic. Oh, right, I haven't told your mom or dad about any of this. I was wondering about whether I should tell them or not, but this is pretty important. I figured you should tell them yourself. Mm. But worrying them when they're overseas isn't good. Overseas? Oh, that must mean your parents are working overseas and that you stayed behind alone. Well, that'd explain why they couldn't visit when you were hit hospitalized. I almost said kidnapped. <laughs> Chai, you're influencing me. But anyway, I should probably contact Shin about this. Oh, wait a minute, I'll call him. Shin? Who's Shin? Sorry, I should pronounce it the way that they do. <laughs> Shin. Hey, Shin? It's me. You still awake? Em's collapsed and hit her head, so she needed to be hospitalized for a while. Her memories are kind of hazy now, and she hasn't been acting normal since we left the hospital. So try not to call her for a while until- Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, he's isolating me! <laughs> Chat, I think we've already done something wrong. <laughs> Chat! His manipulate mansplain male wife is coming out. <laughs> you know what? That's just the amnesia experience. This game is a little fucked up. <laughs> From what I've heard, at least. Again, I don't know a lot. But I know that there are endings, like bad ends, where you just whole ass die. <laughs> so try not to call her for a while until she gets better. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they did tests. No, they were all negative. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, fun! Yep. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. Isn't that a little cold, even for you? There's no need to worry. I'm looking after her. What do you mean? I thought you'd want to know, and that's why I called you. I said- Hey, wait! <sighs> he hung up. What an idiot. Alright. A message from Shin. He says, klutz, idiot, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I think, I think Sheen's the red one. Do you know who Sheen is? Oh, I guess you wouldn't. Sheen is a childhood friend, just like me. You've known him since kindergarten. He's a year below you. And I'm a year above you. <gasps> senpai! <laughs> My god, Puma Senpai. Where does the cage even come in? I wouldn't know. I only have very vague- this is an old game. I don't remember when this came out, but the anime based on it came out in 2011. So, it had to be before that. <laughs> Do you remember that at least? Anyway, you, Shin, and I always played together, until high school at least. After that we started growing further apart. We moved, we went to college, we started living alone. Still, we all kept in contact. My parents are all friends, so, th so the three of us have been like siblings to each other. It has an anime? Yeah, it's bad though. Don't watch it. You can. You, it do, It sucks. <laughs> that tends to happen with dating sim anime. Because like, the whole thing about a dating sim is that you choose a route and focus on that one character. So then you actually take that time to learn about that character and then the rest of them take a, a backseat. But in an anime, it's like everyone has a favorite that's watching this. So they all want little romantic moments. So it just kind of turns into an unsatisfying mess. And also, 
protagonists in these kinds of games, especially this one, because, you know, amnesia, no memories, uh, tend to have the personality of a wet piece of paper. <laughs> a wet paper towel, you know? Because you're just supposed to make the choices. Sometimes they have personalities, but... Hmm, debatable. DDLC might get an anime. I don't care how to feel about that, considering... Uh, I want it to... Because I like it a lot. But they definitely need to put a warning. But by, my, by now, I'm sure most people know what's going on. <laughs> by this point, it's pretty infamous. But... No, it's nothing. On the day you collapsed, I was on my way to your apartment complex to wait for you. We were planning to meet after a long time apart when I saw you on the ground like that. I was so shocked. So that's what happened. Yeah, I'd be shocked too. But it's fine now since you're okay. Mind if I have some coffee? I'll get some from the kitchen. You want some too, right? Uh, looks like Toma knows his way around your house. You must have come here a lot before you lost your memories. Here you go. I put plenty of sugar in there. Ding dong! Who is that? Oh, wait a second, I'll go check. No, oh, it's you. So you decided to show up after all. Come on in, I'll unlock the door. After all? Did that mean it's the Shin guy he was talking to on the phone earlier? Since here ends. There he is. Yeah, I think what makes it worse is that uh, Toma's sleeve is so wide on top. <laughs> they do definitely still have twig arms, but... I think back when I was 11, Sheen was my favorite. Shocker, the one with red hair and a fucking collar on was my favorite. <laughs> if you know anything about me, you'll find that characters with red hair tend to be my favorite. <laughs> mm. But yeah, you can see They're all definitely emo You also like the red dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah He's also a childhood friend Sundere Which, you know it, It's less the fact that they have red hair And more the fact that Sundere guys tend to have red hair That's, that's what we're getting at here if we're not bickering, I don't want them. <laughs> what is this? You look perfectly fine. Why do you even need to come here? What a waste. <laughs> All right, buddy. That's the first thing you have to say. Oh, so this is Shin. Toma said he's here below you, right? Kohai. She was hospitalized. You could show a little more concern. Well, it's not like I mind checking up on her. I'm just saying. Dude, why does he have a belt buckle around his neck? It's called a choker, bro. <laughs> He's got two whole chokers on. So what happened? Were you just being an idiot and fell over? <laughs> he sure is blunt, huh? Or do you have low blood pressure or something? That's why I told you. Living alone isn't for you. Oh. Oh, he doesn't trust me at all. I see. Are you hurt? Did you injure anything besides your head? And what did he mean your he memories are hazy? Never seen a choker look like a belt? Dude, where have you been? <laughs> mm. I guess then again, I do enjoy goth fashion a lot. Goth and emo fashion. Which has a lot of that. So. <laughs> I feel like these two are complete opposites of each other. I feel like Sheen here is very abrasive, but actually cares. And then Toma is kind on the outside, but is also kind of a freak. <laughs> what do you mean, what the fuck is this shit? What part? Okay, that's enough. She doesn't need you to interrogate her. She's barely even injured. They took an MRI, and there should be no problems. She saw a ton of doctors at the hospital, so there's the chance that they missed anything. So the chance they missed anything is... Nearly zero. And there's no point in telling her now that she shouldn't live alone. She's already here. Just have a seat for now. Is coffee alright with you? I don't like bitter things. You can at least make it black tea with lots of sugar and milk. Dude, he's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> I knew there was a reason why he's my favorite. 
look, we're doing Toma first because y'all chose it, even if you didn't know what you were getting yourselves into. But next we're doing Sheen, just for me. I like Red's vibes too, yeah. Though he does have a really fucking weird piercing. <laughs> Who gets a piercing just there for no reason? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. I feel like usually they'd get it on like maybe the collarbone if anywhere around here. Or the nipple. But, you know, we wouldn't be able to see that part. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he's got more. <laughs> How old are you? Dude, shut up. Adults can like sweet things. Fuck you. It's not as bad as Green's coat. <laughs> you, Rose, you should send a picture of Green's coat. In the in the Discord server. Everyone here right now is in there. Hey, VOD watchers. We have a Discord. Links in the description if you want to join and see what we're talking about. <laughs> More importantly, Zelma. She was in the hospital all that time, and you waited until just now to contact me about it? Yeah, I'm sensing Toma might be a bit possessive. <laughs> might have uh, some obsessive tendencies. <laughs> it's like you hid this from me. It's ticking me off. I did hide this from you. I didn't want it to interfere with your exams. Likely excuse, Toma. You've interfered plenty already. I've got another one tomorrow. What? Then why did you come here? Go home! It's a little late for that now. <sighs> Whatever, I'll go home soon. But next time something like this happens, call me. Or text me or something. And I don't need you telling me to study. You're the one who told me this last minute. Okay, okay, I get it. Sorry about that. Anyway, she doesn't strike me as the type to die easily, even if she was killed. <laughs> You know, I hate to break this to you, but people die when they are killed. <laughs> Dude, I love the look on his face, though. Oh, no. We're in Toma's room, but I feel like I'm just going to be simping over the red boy <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I love I know, right? Oh, no. He's stupid. He's my favorite now. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, she isn't talking much at all. He's stupid and snarky, I love him. <laughs> Shocker, I like Ajax Tartaglia. This guy's pretty similar to that one. Uh-oh. Hey, VOD watchers, turn on Abba. No! FR, how could you? Don't say that. I need this money, I'm broke. <laughs> and I want to get materials so I can play Switch games on stream. <laughs> I need to buy shit. I need to look up what I need to buy. But I do need to buy shit. Yeah, she may still be recovering from the accident. The doctor said she should be back to normal in two or three days. For real betrayal arc. Honestly, top ten anime betrayals. FR, you're at the top. You're number one. <laughs> two or three days. And if not, you'll take her back to the hospital, right? Huh? Wait, no, two or three days was just for the injury. My memories need a bit longer, please! Uh... Oh, it's not like they can hear me. It's no use getting so worked up like this. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm such a doormat here. I can talk, why am I not bringing this up? Saying like, oh, oh yeah, the doctor meant that for just the injury. Um, haha. <laughs> My memories will take you a little longer. You don't even take me to the hospital. Chee hee. Chee hee ha ha hoo hoo. Hee hee. Silly goofy. <laughs> She's just a bit spaced out. And it's not like she's behaving strangely otherwise, so don't worry. This is already strange enough. Is it really okay to leave her alone like this when she's so out of it? Should I stay over? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What? What are you talking about? It's fine, I'd just be taking care of her. <laughs> taking care of me, you say? Wink, wink. You realize we're not kids in kindergarten anymore, right? And I doubt she'd be able to get any rest if two men were staying in this room with her. <laughs> Damn right I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna be insufferable during this whole thing. <laughs> oh, so it's two men now. What's your plan? Make me go home and stay here yourself? I never said that. If you go home, I'll go home. Besides, you need to study. I can study here. 
You didn't bring anything with you. If your grades get shot because of this, I won't call you the next time anything happens. Oh, I see. I bet this was your plan all along. I don't mind if you think that. You know it's just common sense, Jean. So, what do you think, Ems? Are you okay to be on your own? Guys, <laughs> I think we all know the answer. I think we're all in agreement. I think we want to kick Toma out, Mr. Obsessive Tendencies, and instead keep little snark boy over here. <laughs> I'll wait for y'all's confirmation, but... But... Let's get Toma's skinny-ass twig arms out of here. Suffering trying to view the TikTok? L. All right, you can go home first then. Yeah, we kind of need someone to stay, because if they both leave, then we're just going to turn into a vegetable. That's not all right, and Ems, don't give him those openings that he could take advantage of. I want him to take advantage of it! It's not really him taking advantage of it if I am inviting him. <laughs> this is consensual, I promise. <laughs> Keep them both harem. I don't... I wonder if there's a harem ending. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Keep them all! Keep them all! <laughs> <clears throat> I told you before, this isn't the same as the past. Yeah, I know. I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm in what? Second year of college, I think they said? Or was it first year? Something like that. In that case, I'd probably be like... Main, main character here is like 18, 19. And then Sheen's probably like 18. Toma would be 19, 20. Something like that. Kick Toma out. I hate his vibes. Dude. I don't know if he's gonna let me. <laughs> he's fucking manipulate mansplain male wifing all over my apartment right now. Sheen might have just been a puppy when he was little, but he's like a wild beast now. Don't underestimate him. Ooh. <laughs> don't fucking threaten me with a good time, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Who are you calling a wild beast? Anyway, we'll both get going now. I'm sure you're still worried, but I'll come by again tomorrow. Oh, well, I guess that means I'm leaving. No! No! <laughs> I'm like, I'm imagining the fanfic scene in my head now. He turns to leave. I grab his sleeve. <laughs> he goes, because ah, it's an anime. <laughs> Little <laughs> anime noise. <laughs> no, please don't go. Oh, also, I called your work and said you'd be taking today and tomorrow off. If you're okay to go the day after, I'll go with you. Wait, I thought we didn't like Sheen. What do you mean, no? What? No, we like Sheen. We don't like Toma. Toma's the one who I'm afraid is gonna lock me in his fucking basement. <laughs> Chain me to the wall. <laughs> Kick out both of these douchebags? No, Sheen's the kind of douchebag that I like. <laughs> My problematic fave. <laughs> He called me an idiot. That means he's my favorite. <laughs> Got the names mixed up. I, I could just call him Red. Red boy. Collar boy. Puppy boy. Wild beast. <laughs> Work? You have a job too? Oh, this is bad. We don't have enough information at all. That's a genius idea. <laughs> Red, gold. I don't want to say yellow. It feels too stupid. And not endearing enough. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't worry about anything. I'll take care of you. I feel like I feel like he's trying to put me in a senior senior living like a senior assistant assistant center. You know? You just dump me there and then have someone take care of me. I am not a baby, dude. I I don't remember anything, but I can still function. I promise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're just happy that you get to act like an older brother again. Oh, hold on. I was moving my mug so I can make room for my water. Senior Citizen Center. Yeah, sure, that. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Since he's offering, make sure to do <laughs> just really boss him around. I'm way too busy. See you later. I'm gonna refer to both of these as dumbass and dumbass. Oh, this is bad. We managed to get home safely, but we only have three days to convince them. We need to gather information and reclaim your memories before then. Somehow I feel fulfilling those conditions is gonna be really tough. 
We can't manage. You'll just have to pretend that they came back. Anyway, you should rest for today, and we'll get to work tomorrow. <gasps> Does this mean that we change routes? Please, please, please. <laughs> August 5th. Good morning. How do you feel? Let's do our best to gather information today so you can get your memories back as soon as possible. That said, seeing who your friends are is a good start. Let's check your phone. Let's see. Oh, right, you've got a new phone so you don't have a call history or saved messages. What about your contacts book? 208 entries. The contents are... Uh... Shin, Toma, Iki, Kent, Waka, Mine, Sawa, and Rika. <clears throat> and there are a lot of other names, too. They're probably just your friends or your classmate. I'm not sure which of them you're closest to, based off the names. It would be good to not assume you could just call all of them up. Kent! Yeah. I mean, it might be sure for something like Kentaro. <laughs> just Kent. <laughs> Oh, here's Dad. But you don't seem to have other family members recorded. Not sure what your family situation is. Fucking Kent. The rest are pretty varied. There are even entries like dentist and pizza place. It may be a good idea to visit those places listed by name here. But people are another issue. With just a name and a number, you have no idea who you got along with really well. This is about all the information the cell phone can provide. Next, let's search the house. Maybe we should check the drawers and stuff first. Let's see. Hmm, here's a notebook. What's in here? Hmm? What is this? It says May in quite a few places. What does that mean? This is pretty suspicious. Oh, there's a memo written here. Let's see. Meet Iki at 2.30 in front of the station. Iki? Oh, there was an Iki listed in your contacts. Sounds like a man's name. No, oh, he's here too. Meet Iki at CTU. Looks like you met him pretty often over the last month. Meet Iki at Math Lab, meet Iki at CTU. Could this Iki be your boyfriend? You've been seeing him a lot. That seems very possible. There's more. Meet Iki at Back Alley, meet Iki at Back Alley. Back, back Alley? What? Oh my god, he's my drug dealer. Back alley? Why a back alley? Is that your meeting place? Or is there a cafe called the back alley? And there's a possibility that it's just a code word. A back alley, huh? Ding dong! Hmm? Is someone here? Oh fuck, banana boy. I see you're awake. Good morning. Who's stopping associating suspicious with Among Us? I'm so sorry I brought it back. I'm a bad influence. Oh, it's Toma. You said he'd come in the morning yesterday, right? You don't look so pale anymore. But did anything strange happen last night? I was alright. I see. That's good. I was worried all night that my phone would ring at any minute. Anyway, won't it be bad if you don't go shopping soon? Your fridge is nearly empty. If we go now, I can help you carry the bags. What do you want to do? We should really take him up on that offer. We don't really know this city right very well. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, about that back alley. Maybe Toma knows where it is. Wanna ask him? And it wouldn't be weird to just ask him directly. Try to ask him in a natural way. Let's go to the... I mean, he didn't like us being polite earlier. So let's... <laughs> the tilde's kind of a bit much, though. What's up with you all of a sudden? Oh, he's suspicious. You still aren't back to normal, are you? It's kind of creepy. And with a tilde, too. <laughs> anyway, what back alley? Could it be that back alley? It's back alley and not rear alley, right? Oh, what's the difference? Don't back alley and rear alley mean the same thing? Mm, oh well, if you want to go, I'll take you. Did you lose something there? That's not the case. We just figured we could reclaim some memories. 
Anyway, I'll be waiting downstairs. Come outside when you're ready. Try to be done within 20 minutes. Why are you ordering me around, bro? Mm, 20 minutes is probably impossible with your hair. Sir, excuse you? Fucking rude. Part of your bangs are sticking straight up. Didn't you grow your hair out because short hair sticks up so easily like that? And you still manage to get bedhead somehow. How do you sleep? Looks like you still toss and turn. Oh well, don't worry about time. Just come outside when you're done. I'll wait. He's suspiciously understanding. Well, let's go for a walk. But you sure are quiet. Is this because you bumped your head? It's because I bumped into her. I know I used to tease you and say you'd be cuter if you were quiet, but this is actually pretty unsettling. I feel like I'm looking at a well-made doll. It's weird. You're cute, but I don't know. Seeing you so doll-like makes me feel kind of guilty. Guilty? No, that's not it. But it's not sympathy or discomfort either. Whatever it is, I just can't relax. I hope you get better soon. Hmm. Oh, so there's a huge street like this within walking distance. Even the place you work is here, too. That's not the right way. It's over here. <laughs> what was that interaction? I have no idea, man. He's kind of a freak. <laughs> Alright, we've arrived. Wait, here? It really is just an ordinary alley. This is the only place you call back alley. You call the alleys behind other buildings, rear alleys. You gave this place a different name, so that's why I remembered. So, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh... <clears throat> Can you remember anything? I thought it had some meaning, seeing as how you wrote it in the notebook. I guess you just don't have any particularly special memories of this place. Oh! Wait, what? I like him. I'm sure he doesn't see me as a normal girl at all. I've cried so many times because of it. But still, I really like him, so... This is you talking. When was this memory? Who are you talking to? How do you not have any particularly special memories in a back alley? Well, clearly I do. Just took me a second. Uh, right. This was in July. At that time, someone very... Someone was very important to me. Taking a break from binge-watching Faith the Unholy Trinity to watch you. Welcome! We're playing a dating sim! <laughs> oh, my hat's spinning! Ems, what's wrong? What happened? Ems! Oh! That's not how his teeth should look. <laughs> Uh-oh! Just don't look too hard at the mouth. Everything else looks great. His arm even looks right. Toma. Your face is totally pale. Is this the same as before? I need to get you to the hospital. Wait. Hmm? Are you trying to talk? What happened? Tell me. Did I like you, Toma? See, he made the anime noise. What was I telling you? He went the... Oh, oh. <laughs> but anime boys shall save my sanity. Ooh, this might not be the right anime boy game to save your sanity. This made his honesty kind of scary. <laughs> I don't trust him at all. He's got little teeth. Thank God he closed his mouth. I don't have to look at that anymore. <laughs> Baby teeth. Yeah, fair warning to not look at his arms on the normal sprite. He is emaciated. He looks good here, though. Look, we can even... Collarbone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is a good time to warn you that I get very invested in stories and games. It's why I'm so bad at horror games. Because I... Once I'm in, it's like I'm really there. <laughs> god, I'm so glad I don't have the space or money for a VR headset. Because I'd be so bad. 
But yeah, I get really invested in these things, so I will be swooning over someone by the time this game is over. <laughs> they might save my sanity compared to whatever's going on with Gary. I I believe. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> oh shit, wait. There we go. This isn't the time to be asking that. And I'll do my best to give convincing performances. So that we can all get invested. <laughs> Please tell me. Oh. Yeah, that's right. We were a couple. I don't know, man. Kind of sus. <laughs> I thought it was conf it would confuse you, so I kept quiet. I'm sorry. Oh my god, we better smooch. You know what? I think I'd be okay with it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's my first kiss though, so be gentle. <laughs> so Toma liked me too? He saw me as a normal girl. I don't know, man. I feel like he might just be taking advantage of us, to be honest, but I'm okay with it, okay? To be- look, to be honest, I kind of want to get like a crazy yandere ending. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. <laughs> I'm glad. Hey, are you okay? Hey! I don't trust this boy, neither do I. I've known him for like five minutes right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh. Loading screen. Well, I just don't trust this boy. That is not my boy. No, he's icky. You just got here. Good morning. Are you awake? You should get up if you are. There's a certain someone who watched over you all night. Oh god, he watched me sleep? Fucking creep. I icky boy. <laughs> Boys are icky. <laughs> Ems? Good morning. You're finally up. How do you feel? Still kind of dizzy? You slept for the entire day after coming back. Do you remember yesterday? His arms. Oh, this is your first time seeing it. It's true. Hold on, I'll put away. Look at that, baby. <laughs> we were not kidding. <laughs> we absolutely were not kidding. <laughs> no answer. Oh, that probably means you don't remember. Sheesh. Yesterday you fainted all of a sudden in the alley. I wouldn't have been able to carry you home from there, so I called a taxi. He knows. <laughs> he knows he can't lift for shit. <laughs> when he puts it behind his head, it looks like a wet noodle. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> he looks like Danky. Oh my god, he does. Fuck, Danky was my man's. <laughs> Kaminari, is that you? <laughs> I thought about going to the hospital, but I decided that I'd have you rest for a while at home first and call an ambulance if you got worse. I was watching over you all night. I'm glad you woke up. I thought about calling that ambulance so many times. You don't feel unwell, do you? Paper towel tube. In that case, I'm sorry. But let me sleep for just ten minutes. I'm at my limit here. I'm really tired. <gasps> Tucks some hair behind his ear. <laughs> well, he fell asleep. You can't help it. You must have been really tired. Why does he look like an anthropomorphized goth bee? <laughs> oh my god, is this the bee movie? <laughs> you like jazz? Jerry Seinfeld, is that you? You know, Toma really did stay up the whole night watching over you. He seemed really worried. Yesterday when Toma said he was your boyfriend, to be honest, I was doubtful. He said he hadn't seen each other in a while, and he didn't act like a boyfriend. But after seeing Toma last night, I could tell that he really does treasure you. He must really love you. I don't know, man. What about Iki that we kept talking about? This is kind of weird. Oh! I don't know why, but it honestly kind of scared me. <laughs> it's like he was eavesdropping. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> His arms look like he took the paper towel rolls and painted them with stripes to use them as Halloween witchcraft lights. <laughs> Who's Orion? One of the funky little demons in our heads? Yeah. 
Orion crashed into my noggin and knocked my memories out of my head and replaced them with his consciousness. So now we're trying to get my memories back so that he's freed from my mind. Oh, sorry, I just need my desk shifting in my chair. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder how many years it's been since we held hands. Oh, I didn't even notice because it was behind the text box. Oh, that is not a, that's not a great hand. That's not a, hide that. Put those away. <laughs> I'm feeling nostalgic, but it's also kind of embarrassing. Hot. <laughs> you know, Lems, I'll wake up in ten minutes. So until then, I'd be happy if you stayed like this till I woke up. Thank God the dialogue's censoring it, I know, right? Good night. Good night, King. Sleep well. Please don't lock me in your basement. Thanks. <laughs> he really did fall asleep. He must have been straining himself. But you finally figured out that he's your boyfriend. Still, your memories haven't really come back yet. It would be great if they all came rushing back suddenly. Things like your memories as lovers. You see, that's why I'm so suspicious. Because in the memory that I got in the alleyway, we didn't see the other party. And also, it didn't seem very requited either way. You know? We just asked him if we liked him. And then he was like, yeah, we were dating. Instantly. And then we didn't even get any more memories from that. So I'm like, mm, kind of sus, kind of suspicious. Maybe you and Toma hadn't been going out for very long and that's why you have so few memories. Um, and about your condition, it seemed for a while yesterday that your old personality was coming back, but that doesn't seem to be the case now. Orion is a scrunkly. Yeah, look at him, just a little guy. What could this mean? Something must be missing. Meem, 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 meem. Hmm? Oh, you got a message. There's a cell phone nearby. Can you reach it? Let's see. It's from Shin. All my exams are done. How are you feeling? Better yet? Shin must be worried too. He seems pretty unsociable, but he's a good person. That's why he's my favorite! I think it would be best if you replied and said you're okay. And that Toma's here. I wonder if you have any female friends. I doubt that you don't have any. We need to look into that too. Oh, we've got so many things to do. Oh. Another message? Maybe it's a reply from Shin. I was thinking about this yesterday too, but what happened with you and Toma? Up till recently, you were saying that you didn't want to see him. Did anything change? See? We aren't! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Why was he wearing shiny eggs as jewelry? Because he likes eggs. That's why. <clears throat> How dare you judge him? Oh, I have to scroll. There wasn't even anything down there. Anyway. Huh? You didn't want to see Toma? What could this mean? Were you having a fight with him? What's that sound? <clears throat> Uh, what time is it? 12.15, huh? Wait, what time did I go to sleep? I didn't make you wait too long, did I? Did anything happen while I was out? Do we lie? Chat, do we lie to this man? <laughs> yep, there's the infamous arm. This is the sprite. His worst sprite. Lie, lie, lie. Nothing. None of them on I see. That's good. Dude, knowing him, he'd probably try to fucking isolate me again. If something happens while I'm asleep, feel free to hit me till I wake up. I'm already used to being your punching bag, after all. Oh, am I a Sunday? Still, it's already noon. I'm getting pretty hungry. I love lying to video game characters. I couldn't go shopping yesterday, so I guess I'll drop by a convenience store. I'll buy something for you too. You don't have any preferences, right? I'm just gonna borrow your key real quick. I'll be right back. Mm. Mm. Was there a convenience store nearby? Well, I guess I'll be back in 20 minutes or so anyway. <laughs> Bug Zapper, no! How could you hurt Papyrus of all people? You monster! 
We don't have anything else to do, so maybe we should just continue yesterday's search of your apartment. You found that notebook yesterday. Maybe you have a diary somewhere. Hmm? Is that a computer over in the corner? If it's a computer... Oh, it is a computer. Hey, let's try starting it up. If you have emails, that could be a treasure trove of information. You had to finish it, dude. I still haven't even attempted genocide. I don't think I've killed a single thing, except Asgore that one time in neutral. That's what they all say. <laughs> Wait, huh? There's no battery in it. Ugh. What about a charger? Also, I am a psychopath, so... <laughs> There isn't one. Oh, why don't you have a battery or a power cord? Oh, let's try looking around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this is weird. Did you send them in for repairs or something? You can't use the computer like this. I have a game theory. Toma fucking stole it. So I couldn't charge my laptop and talk to people. Sounds like Toma's back. Leave. I'm back. It took a little longer than expected. Here, this is for you. The slow reveal of the background blinds me every time. Sorry, I keep giving you a flashbang accidentally. It's very, it's a very interesting choice that they made to just have it be white. It's a rice ball and black tea. You really like the two of these together, right? It's kind of hard to believe you like to black tea and rice balls. Last time I said that, though, you got all up in arms about it. So I know better than to start something like that again. His neck is twice as thick as his arms. Honestly. <laughs> this poor guy. When you get mad, you get worked up in really strange ways. But it's pretty cute in its own way. But there isn't many guys who would say that's cute. It's probably just me. So you'd better appreciate me. I don't... Dude, I feel like this is textbook manipulator this whole time. <laughs> He's now switched from isolating to making me think that there's something wrong about me that only he could love. I'm just saying. He really is. He's gaslighting and gatekeeping. Manipulate mansplain male wife. Anyway, I guess I'll just eat sweet bread. <sighs> there's another yawn. Let's hope this doesn't kickstart more yawns. I was doing so well, too. I'm so a little sleepy. Toma seems tired. Well, he did look after you all night. Maybe you should say something. <laughs> no, it's buffering L. Too invested in tomato. Let's see. I want to be mean to him. I don't like him. Dude, were you watching me while I sleep? Fucking weirdo. <laughs> what? You're worried about that? It's buffering for you? Oh no, wait. It doesn't look like I, it should be. <laughs> mean gang, mean gang. I'm mean to him because I don't like him. I don't trust him. I've told you many times before. I don't see you like that after all this time. You're like a younger sister to me. This motherfucker is lying to me. He thinks I don't remember. He thinks I don't remember. <gasps> Bitch. <laughs> He's not real, so that makes it fine. Even if he was real, I don't fucking trust him. After all this time? Aren't you two dating? If you think about it, you, Sheen, and I have been together pretty much since we were born. This fucker. Oh, right. My parents told me. You and I were playing in the house, and Sheen's mom came to visit with a newborn Sheen. Bite him. I think he'd like that, so no. She apparently wanted to introduce us to baby Sheen. Then Sheen's mom asked me to be his older brother. And then I said... I'm already M's big brother, so I'll be Shin's big brother, too. Never trust a guy who dresses like a bee. You're so right. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I need to go to the bathroom. Wait. But it's this button. There we go. Let me save. Okay. I'm going to save. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, you're back, chat. Don't do anything reckless while I'm gone. Okay. I swear to God. Don't burn the house down or I'll cry. <laughs> okay, bye.
Hello, I am back. Oh my god. I told you not to burn the stream down. Oh no. Oh. You're killing each other with smoke. Oh my god. I should have known you're just as contrary as I am. <laughs> We, could, we cause problems on purpose. The chat reflects the streamer. I did this to myself. <sighs> Put away the drugs. <laughs> no, crime! How could you? Alright. <laughs> Skinny emo boy jump scare. <laughs> He's back! <laughs> Alright, hold on. There we go. That's how I responded. If a firefighter committed arson, nobody would suspect it. I guess, but I think he'd still get caught anyway. <laughs> and then fired. No, God, jump scare. <gasps> and I guess that's how I turned out this way. A big brother with no actual siblings. This dude's fucking sus. Actually, wait, yeah, Rose, what was the last thing that you remember? Because I think we've got a lot to catch you up on, even though it hasn't been that long. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna make sure, because it is real weird. But I think it might be weirder than you think. <laughs> it might be even weirder than you're aware of. I don't fucking trust this man as far as I could throw him. I don't trust this man as far as he could throw me. Back alley. Like, being there? Or I'll just start from back alley anyway. So we're in the back alley. We get that memory back. And the memory is of us. The memory is of us. It, it's a literal back alley. It's just an alley with nothing in it. But yeah. It's a memory of us saying, talking to someone. We don't know who. And we say, I really love him. But like, in a way that makes it seem like it's unrequited. And we have no idea who we're talking about. We come out. And then automatically ask this yellow fucker, banana boy, if we loved him. And then he turns around and is instantly like, oh my god, yeah, we were dating. <laughs> and then brings us home because we pass out. Then when we wake up again, he's like, oh, I guess you don't remember anything because he asked if we remember it, but we're quiet because, I don't know, MC doesn't like to talk. <laughs> we don't like talking. So he was like, oh, I guess you don't remember anything. And then he went back to pretending like that didn't happen. So he's saying, I'm like, I'm like your big brother. You know I don't think of you that way. So I'm... I'm gonna push him off his balcony. <laughs> to be honest. MC needs better common sense. But you know what? I'm glad she didn't say anything. I'm glad she didn't say that she remembered it. Because now, he's being fucking weird. He's being untrustworthy and creepy. And it's good to know that this man immediately went back to being brother. As soon as the... Mm. Anyway. I went and bought a bunch of food. So don't go wandering around the streets. Don't even leave the house. Dude! He's gonna kill us. He's gonna fucking kill us. If you collapse again, I won't hesitate to take you to the hospital. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's a scary threat. I'll see you later. I'll come by to check up on you tomorrow. You're just gonna leave us? Oh my god, please. Sheen. Sheen. MC, I need you to immediately text Sheen and ask him to get you the fuck out of here. <laughs> Please give me that option. Oh my god. If you collapse again, you're going to the hospital, huh? If that happens, we'll be in big trouble. Okay, yeah, he's sus. I don't like him. And from personal experience, any lad who calls himself a big brother needs to be avoided at all costs. Well, that happens a lot in anime, and it's not that bad, but... Understandable. <laughs> It's true that you are in imperfect condition now. Um, let's just rest at home today. No, I don't want to. I want to run. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking for the computer battery. I'm sure it's in the apartment somewhere. Four hours later. Holy shit. He, he totally fucking stole the battery. <laughs> Nowhere to be found. I thought this would be a good source of information, but... Dude, Big Brother's always watching. Oh my god, you're so right. I guess we'll just have to give up on the computer. And you're tired, aren't you? They looked for it for four hours. Yeah, they're determined. 
You should eat the food Toma bought for you. I feel like he put some shit in it, man. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, Orion hating hospitals is valid. Dude, if we go back, we're gonna really turn into a vegetable. It is August 7th. Let's try to figure out your identity today, too. Is what I want to say, but I just realized something really important. The day before yesterday, Toma said I told the manager you'd take today and tomorrow off work. That can only mean one thing, right? You've got work today. We don't even know what work is. Hmm. If we just sit around, I'm sure that manager person will contact you. And if Toma and Shin found out that you skipped work, they'd definitely say something like, You skipped work? That's not like you. There really must be something wrong. And then they might even try to take you back to the hospital. If only we knew the place you worked. We can look it up and try to contact them. Ding dong. Hmm? Do you have a guest? Who'd show up at a time like this? <laughs> Fucking stalker banana boy. Good morning. Think you can go today? Toma? Did he come to pick you up? What? You have work today. Is it a problem if I walk you over? Mm, it looks like Toma's worried about you. What should we do? It looks like you want to say something, but either way, you need to go now or you'll be late. I'll listen to your complaints later. Come on, hurry up. Oh, we can't help it. We'll just have to go and see what happens. Oh my god, he's taking us to a secondary location. Oh no, 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 no. We should be able to walk slowly and still make it in time. Let's head over. By the way, did you go anywhere afterwards yesterday? Why do, why do you want to know? Why are you asking? Oh. I want to call him out. I want to know. Do you not have work uniforms? I don't know. Some places have like a little locker room where you can put on the uniform at the place. So it could be something like that. But it also depends on the place. Yeah. I'm this. I'm taking the reins here. I want to ask him, let him know I was looking for the battery. And just know that if it were literally me in the MC's shoes, I'd be glaring at him. Looking for my battery. Your battery? What battery? Oh, was it for your computer? You lost just the battery? How did you manage that? Motherfucker, I bet you stole it. It must be inconvenient to not be able to use your computer. Well, I guess it's not too bad since you've got a phone. The phone isn't enough information. If only we had the charger. Oh, wait, huh? You should be able to use the computer without a battery if you had a charger. Why did he immediately assume you can't use it? Because he fucking stole it! Oh, he absolutely... <laughs> Does Toma know you don't have a charger either? Just let me know if you want to use a computer before you find that battery. I'll lend you mine. You can do whatever you want on it. He's got fucking spyware on it. Today sure is cold, though. Doesn't feel like August at all. Oh, I was actually curious about that, too. It's summer now, right? I thought it was August 7th today. Ugh. Oh, num num. I couldn't really find a good time to say it, so I just kept quiet, but isn't this weather more like autumn? A long time ago, when I visited the human world in summer, it wasn't like this. This summer's just been ridiculously cold. They were saying on TV about the ozone layer thickening somehow, and that we're entering a pre-ice age. What the fuck kind of plot point is this? A pre-ice age? Well, they're also predicting an intense heat wave next summer, so I guess it balances out. That's not how that works. Huh? This place? We came here before, didn't we? I guess the place you work is on this road. There's a lot of shops here. Hmm? What's wrong? It's just this way. Oh, man. 20 minutes till opening. Looks like perfect timing to me. Oh, no shitsuji! Oh, my God! Wait, maid's butler? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> looks like a cafe. It's a maid cafe. Wait, 
isn't the time for that. We've come this far, but we still don't know what we do. I wonder if the manager's here yet. Oh, he could at least give us time to think of an excuse. Hello, is the manager here? Why, if it isn't Toma. Whoa! A man! You're not a- you're not one of the datables! <laughs> this person's the manager? It's been a long time, Toma. I didn't expect you to return after your departure. What could have caused this turn in for events? <laughs> yes, it has been a while. I'd like it if you could hire me again once I'm not so busy with school. Oh, is it a bu it's a butler cafe! Kinda fine. Yeah, can I date my manager? Please? Thanks. The work you did here in the past was extremely valuable to the cafe. It would definitely consider rehiring you. <laughs> what the fuck? Why isn't the manager one of the date dudes? I don't know. This sucks. There's something we actually came to talk about. It's about ends. Uh oh, here we go. I'm sorry this is so sudden, but I'd like it if you could give her some time off work. Start a- <gasps> No! No, don't, don't, don't do this to me! Huh? Does this have something to do with the last two days she took off work? Oh no, no, no! Yes, we still don't know the reason why she collapsed the other day, and she's not in great condition to stand for long periods of time. I don't fu- Ah! Uh, uh, no! I'm about to get crimed, guys. You know, they say it's always the people closest to you that you should be wary of. If she were to collapse while carrying food or drinks, it would cause damage to the cafe, and she could be injured as well. That's why, for now, maybe until around the middle of the month, I'd like to watch over her while she recovers. I see. That's a very rational reason, but... Why are you telling me this? If possible, I'd like to hear her own thoughts about this issue. Yeah, I know, right? Toma, more like Noma. More like, bitch. Bro's gonna lock me in my house and never let me leave. Dude, I swear, he's gonna lock me in his fucking basement. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you think, Ems? Hmm, this is a very helpful proposition, but I think I can see a problem. If you don't go to work, you won't be able to see your co-workers. I think that would reduce the amount of stimuli to bring back your memories. What will you do? Obviously go to work! My god! <sighs> Look, I think it would be kind of cool to get the Yandere ending, but not for the first ending I ever get, like... <laughs> yeah, like, who does this man think he is? I just- I have amnesia. I'm not, like, a, a, a doll. Come on! I know you said I look like a doll, but... Mm. Are you simply concerned about Meido no Hitsuji being able to operate? That won't be an issue. No! I, I'm concerned he's going to fucking kill me! <laughs> I'm afraid. Fortunately, Kent has returned this month after an extended break. There are no issues in covering shifts. No, no, please, no, please, no, please, no! My choices don't matter! <laughs> you should prioritize your recovery for now. Besides, you didn't have many shifts this month to begin with. I can't say there will be no effect at all, but it'll be minimal. Anyway, I suppose I'll let everyone know you'll return next month. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I think I locked myself in the Yandere ending the minute I told him. <laughs> the minute he knew that we had fucked up memory, it was over for us. If you're feeling well, feel free to drop by once in a while. I'm worried about you, so it would reassure me. All right, I'm just gonna have to come here as a patron. Thank you. It'll really help. Oh, right. Has anyone arrived yet this morning? Mina and Sawa are here. Also, resident criminal justice major. 80% of victims of crime are victimized by someone they know. Exactly, that's what I was saying. I see. Do you mind if I go talk to them? Do you mind if I go talk to them? What about me? I wish to date the manager, God. Not at all. They're in the office. I'm sure they'll be glad to see you. That settles that. Sorry for deciding all this on my own. Are you mad? Yes! Yes, I'm fucking mad! I was just worried that you would collapse again. Fucking. Do we even know that we know this guy? We had one memory with him. One memory from when we were kids. I don't trust him, though. I don't care. 
I'm gonna go for the, to the office real quick. Wait in front of the cafe. No, why can't I go with you? I want to talk to the people. Let me talk to someone, please. I've spoken to two other people once, not including the doctor and the nurse. Oh my God. He dresses like someone between a twink and a twonk. Oh no, no, no. He's 100% in twink territory. I don't know what you think a twonk is, but it's not this. <laughs> It won't take more than 10 minutes. Sorry about that. Take me with you. Why am I being kicked out? Oh my god, oh my god! He was in a cold sweat the whole time, but... It, oh, I was in a cold sweat. But it turned out alright. This is all thanks to Toma. No, this turned out awfully! Oh, the manager. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're fine. I was like looking at Toma and I was like, where? Twunk, where? <laughs> Toma dresses like a little bitch. <laughs> Get his ass. He deserves it. God, I miss. I wish he was more like Genshin Toma. Sucks. <laughs> but I can't say that taking time off work is ex entirely a good thing. No, it's an awful thing. Hey, so we meet again. Isn't it? This is the guy from Pokemon. It's N. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know you were in here. Who's this? Why does he suck so much? Because I don't trust him. It's been a while. Do you recognize me? Hot topic end. <laughs> it really is. What the, look at him. Look at the fucking the tie. He's got a tie on. My god. Do you rec recognize me? Hmm? Maybe you know him. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. It's not a surprise that you don't know me. Well, I do know a little bit because, again, I, I I know something about this game. I think this is this guy is like a secret final route you can do after you do all the other routes. He's like the end game. I don't know about true end, but like you get a lot of lore. <laughs> There's always one of those. Oh, don't. Oh, wait, I already read that one. More importantly, there's something I want to ask you. Was the man you were just with now, Toma? Are you going out with Toma now? What? Why would he ask something like that out of the blue? <sighs> no. I don't know this man. <laughs> you won't answer? Well, I suppose that's natural. I do look very suspicious. He looks like a mermaid turned human cop. <laughs> But seeing how you're so close to Toma and I don't- He's fucking holding me hostage! I, help! Help! Please! This is a cry for help! That means you'll probably be killed. Yeah, I know. Oh, fuck, that's kind of scary. Why is that actually scary? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I kind of already got the vibes, but like... Well, even if he doesn't do anything, thanks to his wish being granted, you're probably going to die. Yeah, I, I, again, like, I was on it. I'm trying, I'm clawing desperately at the walls trying to avoid it, but it's not really working. <laughs> Blink three times if you're in danger. Oh, fuck, wait, I gotta take off my glasses to make sure it picks up. One, two, three. Oh my god. Secret endgame that is not a cop. <laughs> what? Life's short. Better enjoy it while you can. Oh my god. For your face. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Just to be clear, becomes a piece of glass. <laughs> Bow! Oh. oh! That felt like a threat, yeah. Oh, oh! Like nothing happened, baby. <laughs> what the fuck is this game, man? <laughs> it's a roller coaster. We're back. We sure walked far. And you've been staring that way for a while. Are you thinking about something? Yeah, my impending doom. Thanks for asking. No, she's talking to me. That man left as quickly as he came. It was really creepy. Maybe I should tell Toma. Every time I leave, something juicy and or wild happens. SMH. This is what you get for leaving. 
Hey, Ems, what should we... Look out! Hmm? I don't know why, I mean, you don't have to translate a huh. Are you okay? Wait, what? A flower pot came falling down from where? You don't look hurt. That was close. That it hit you directly. Wait here for a bit. I'm gonna go check up above. N you left. That was dangerous. Are you okay? Mm. Toma hadn't protected you. You definitely would have gotten hit. It must have fallen out of one of the windows up there. That was scary. <laughs> Why are dating sims wild plot-wise? Dude, it's insane! Sorry, I looked around, but I couldn't find anyone up there. I might have been able to if I searched longer, but I didn't want to leave you alone. The only good vibes Toma has given this whole time. So true. Yeah, Miss Mess. Remembering the pigeon one, Hatoful Boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a banger? Haven't played it myself, but a banger? Anyway, let's go inside. I wouldn't want something like that to happen again. For the KFC dating sim, I don't want to give them advertisement. <laughs> Alright, you stay home. I'm going out for a bit. You can't just leave that flower pot where it fell, right? I'll let the landlord know. And I'll take another look around the area. That was really suspicious. That flower pot didn't fall by mere coincidence. There was malice behind it. All the windows above were closed. You noticed all that in an instant? Damn, Toma's amazing. They yassified the colonel. They really did. But again, I'll play it if they pay me. <laughs> I'll drop by again before going home. I'll see you later. A lot happened today. There was that weird man, then the flower pot incident. Good thing you were unharmed. Oh, and it's a good thing that we know where you work now. Wait, this is just a thought, but the cafe was on that big street, and there was a back alley behind it, right? Did that mean that the Iki in your notebook could be a co-worker? The back alley is close to the cafe, so maybe that's why you decided that would be your meeting place. Let's try asking Tomo when he gets back if he's a co-worker. It's highly likely that he knows. Ten minutes later. Ten minutes later. Hmm? Iki? By Iki, you mean the Iki at work? <gasps> he knew! We were both waiters, so our shifts didn't really overlap, but I've talked to him once or twice. What about him? It's... Mm, I feel like both of these are the same. This is making me miss the arcana. The story wasn't, that story wasn't unhinged. Julian's was a little unhinged. <laughs> but that's why he was my favorite. And he also just so happened to be a redhead. I have a pattern. <laughs> oh my god. Um, It's nothing. Oh, really? Well, whatever. Anyway, back on topic, I talked to the landlord and he said he'd have it cleaned up. But I couldn't find out who the person who dropped it was. I'm sorry. God, if you're gonna be a fucking weirdo, can you at least, like, kiss me? <laughs> can you at least make it worth it? Yeah, me thinks we should stop asking Toma things. Ugh, God. I don't trust a word out of his stupid mouth. God. Toma thinks there's a culprit, but if it was just an accident, there wouldn't be one. It must have been an accident. Let's leave it that way. Otherwise, it's too scary. Also, here, direct mail delivery. It was in the mailbox, so I brought it in for you. You probably don't want this, though. I feel like he's going through my mail, too. He's throwing shit out. He got he got me a new phone. He said that it broke in the, when, I, when I fell at the start of the game, but I don't think it did. I feel like he maybe just got rid of it on purpose. Oh... Oh my god, choke me like you hate me, but you love me, low-key, you wanna date me when you fuck me. See, I wish he'd at least do something romantic to make this the fear worth it, but no, he's just being a creep. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyways, I'll be heading home. I've got things to do. He totally, he tabbed my phone, he's going through my mail, because that first time, he went to the mail for me, and didn't, didn't take me with him. <sighs> My type is redhead mean and stupid. It's true. 
Rose knows me in real life. She, she knows how consistent I am and how it's the same type every time. <laughs> I'm consistent. <laughs> what happened just now was really weird, so just stay inside. Don't wander around yet. No, I'm leaving! I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but I hope you'll give me a chance to relax and... This ain't about you! Oh my god! Also, do I keep peeking? I know it sounds like I'm peeking to me, but I know that I have the, the mic monitor in my headphones up a lot higher, so I don't yell as much. So I just want to make sure if my audio sounds like garbage. Had the phone, stole your charger, probably had the computer too. It's true. Yes! He won't let me talk to anybody. He won't let me leave my house. Oh, man. But, like, to be honest, I'm shocked that MC hasn't even tried to text I no, no, no. Well, yeah, Iggy, I guess. But also, um, Sheen. Is the MC aware of this guy's shadiness? I don't know! Not looking as I write? That's fine. It's perfect. I, I know what you're saying anyway. That's why this man ain't it. Look, it was the chat that picked him, not me. <laughs> it's not my fault. I hate him. Oh my. Get away from me. You're too close. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like no, none of the choices I've picked have mattered because he just takes the reins and fucks me over. He won't even fuck me either. Oh my god, this route isn't worth it. <laughs> god, someone didn't ask, do you remember or do you know that much today? Maybe he thinks you're getting better. That would be convenient. Let's let him think that way. Also, I just thought of this, but... Were you seeing two guys? Your boyfriend is Toma, but you were also seeing this Iki guy pretty frequently. I don't think Toma was my boyfriend. I don't think he was. I'm gonna be honest. I think he just lied. <laughs> I'm not fucking picking this. I can't remember it at all. <sighs> yeah, that's right. You wouldn't know now. You chose green. <laughs> Well, you should have made multiple accounts and picked green more times. Mm. I think he's working at that cafe. You should go see him tomorrow. You might remember something when you see his face. God, I just hope that fucking Toma doesn't come and ruin my plans. August 8th. Good morning. You're up early today. The weather's nice. It's August, but it feels like autumn. After we change and eat breakfast, we should go check the mailbox like we talked about yesterday. I doubt you'll remember anything by looking at a mailbox, but it's worth a shot. This is the first time I'm checking my mailbox on my own. The mailboxes were on the first floor. I wonder if they have the names on them. If they do, you'll know your neighbor's names, but maybe the building doesn't share personal info like that. Let's see. Which mailbox has your room number on it? Hmm? What the? Uh, let's go back. Back home, hurry! What happened? What? Oh, that was scary. So scary and strange. Dude, what happened? Did you see that? You saw it, right? I didn't see shit. What are you talking about, bro? The mailbox with your room number on it. It, it was full of front eggs and dead bugs. What? Excuse me? What was that? That's not something normally uh, people normally get in the mail. I was so shocked. I felt like we couldn't get back to the room fast enough. What was all that? <laughs> Excuse me. A message. Oh god, who's it from? Sawa, okay. Um, are you doing okay? I heard from the manager that you'll be taking time off from work for a while. Yuki seems worried after hearing about it too. I wonder if this Sawa is a co-worker of yours. She seems to know Iki, too. And from the contents of the message, it sounds like Iki is at the cafe today. Let's go! We have to go now, before Toma shows up! Oh my god. Pass by the mailbox- It's not that big a deal! Just fucking close your eyes! Probably more confused than I am. I'm not that scared. I- well, I'm scared to stay here. We have to go! <laughs> We are going to the cafe. 30 minutes later, we better be at the cafe, I swear to God. We're still at home. 
Half an hour now. I think I'm ready. We should go clean the mailbox first. No! No, we're not. Stop trying to get me to waste time. <sighs> yes, we can't leave it like that. Yes, we can. We definitely can. We absolutely 100% fully can. No, this is what I was scared of. God, it's all your fault, though, Ryan. <sighs> Are you about to go somewhere? I came to check up on you. It's none of your fucking business. Oh, it's Toma. He's here to see you today, too. Mm. I feel like if I mention Iki, he's gonna get really defensive. So we're just gonna say, I wanna go to Maid. Why'd they take. Why'd they get rid of the S? On the sign outside of the restaurant, it literally says Maid no Shitsuji. Like, go away, dude. We have to book it. Oh, look. I'm so mad at Orion right now. I feel so betrayed. Motherfucker, who cares that there's like shit in my mailbox? My life is in danger. I have to go. <laughs> he knows where I live and has my key. Oh my god. Anyway, I want to go to work. The cafe. Oh, were you thinking about how the manager told you to come by sometime? Mm -hmm. well, regardless, I'll... <laughs> don't accompany me. Uh, I don't even want to read all his lines anymore. I'm sick of him. He left the mailbox like that. Did Toma notice? I have a feeling that he knows that this has been happening for a while. Don't want to make him worry. This might make things weird. Come on. He has been the only one going to my mailbox. I'm just saying. I can't believe it. There isn't even a trace. So terrible before. I mean, he cleaned it, so. Toma already, he's been cleaning my mailbox. He's probably been, like, protecting me from something. But also, I still think that he's gonna lock me in his basement to protect me. That's the yandere. Maybe the janitor noticed it and cleaned it up. Yeah, the janitor, his name's Toma. Hmm? What's wrong? Tisk. Need to talk to Iki without him in the room. <sighs> it's the train. Bad timing, I guess. There's no use trying to rush. Let's just take it easy. I swear, if he's not there by the time I get there, I'm gonna scream. Uh, someone pushed me in front of the train. Uh-oh. Are you okay? I was close. You almost run over. Did someone push you just now? That was scary. Are you okay? Didn't it seem like someone shoved you? Damn it. Who was it? You wait here and I'll go. No, I shouldn't. I can't leave you alone. Let's go home for now. No! I don't want to go home. Look, I do think that there's probably some genuine threat outside of Toma, but that doesn't make him any less of a different threat. God fucking damn it. <sighs> it was the flower pot from yesterday, then the railroad crossing today. There's something wrong here no matter how I look at it. This isn't a situation I can just ignore. <sighs> has anything changed around you lately? Tell me if it has. It doesn't matter how trivial it may seem. Well, the biggest change was me merging with you, but I doubt that's related. Let's see, there was that suspicious man yesterday. Do you think you should tell Tilma about him? Might be for the best, even if it might be hard for you to talk about. Fuck. I don't want Toma to know anything. I want him to go away. Murder warning? A death warning would be more appropriate than murder. If I knew about that, I would have been more careful. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner, you idiot? I don't trust you! Oh my god. It wouldn't be a laughing matter if that man was involved in today's incident. That would mean he has the intent of killing, and that the will to actually act upon that intent. Although I doubt the police could do anything even if we told them about this. The only thing they do is patrol the area until someone actually comes to harm. Please pack your stuff so you can stay over for a few days right now. No! I don't want to live in your house! No! No! Please don't make me... <laughs> He's gonna lock me up in his basement, man! I, I can feel the cage I mentioned in the description getting closer and closer. It's coming. It it's, it's calling to me. <sighs> oh, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. It didn't even give me an option. He's just taking me! <laughs> My god... <laughs> How do we not know if it was Toma that pushed us? I know. I know. Oh my god. 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 
I'll just leave your bag here. Just make yourself at home. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna throw myself out his window to escape. He forced you to come here. Is this Toma's house? Where's his family? Wait, does Toma live by himself? Oh my god. Well, at least maybe he'll do something romantic for once. <sighs> I haven't even gotten any, like, butterflies out of this. What's the point of a dating sim if I'm not, like, swooning? If I'm just scared? <laughs> Well, you're dating, but still, have you two gone this far? <laughs> Get a knife, honestly. I need to arm myself. This is your first time here, isn't it? You came over to my parents' house a lot before. Shin drops by once in a while, usually without any notice. I'm honestly, like... I worry for Shin right now. Swoon during the KFC one? I'm not surprised. Sorry for forcing you to come here. You're not fucking sorry. If you were sorry, you wouldn't have done it. I was just too worried after yesterday and today. Sorry I didn't ask for your input in this. You haven't asked for my input in anything! At all! Period. And when you do, you just do what you want anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, just think of this as your own home. Well, that might be difficult, but you can do whatever you want here. I'm gonna be using my computer for a little while. Feel free to look around. I swear, if I find my fucking charger and battery, I'm gonna... Mm. Oh well, we can't help it now. There's not much we can do like this, but I understand where Toma's coming from. Why are you- why are you like taking his side? It would be nice if we could find something to pass the time. Oh, is this a photo album? This is- <gasps> look here, it's a tiny Toma! Yes, any techniques. I know! Oh my god. Oh. Is that you next to him? Oh, you're so cute! Show me! And this kid would be Shin, right? Oh, he's crying! There's ice cream at his feet. He dropped his little ice cream. Oh. Actual best boy. Oh, you're crying in this one. What could have happened? Oh, a memory. Oh, oh. <gasps> crying noises. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'll fix it now. Just, just wait. It's okay, don't cry. Come on. When I was little, I broke a little toy I had. I was so shocked that I had broken it that I became sad. I started to cry, so Toma knelt down by me and stroked my head. Shin sat next to me and tried to fix it himself. I was so happy. Toma's hands were so warm. I really wasn't sad for long, but I pretended to cry for a long time. This is a memory of a slightly sneaky but very happy moment. Shin... Mm -mm. I think this game seems to think I like him. <laughs> I don't. I. Ever since then, I. Banana Boy's roots making me like Red Boy more. I know, right? Since then, I I do think that we had a crush on Toma, but like. I don't think it lasted. Wake up already. How long are you gonna sleep? You're safe because it's me, but if you sleep this deeply at another man's house, you have no idea what he might do to you. The, the fact that you're saying that to me? No. Mm -mm. Red flag. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've always hated that. Like when people say that and they're like friends or whatever. Cause I'm like, who in the re what? Like what? What's going on here? <laughs> Finally opened your eyes? Good morning. How do you feel? Bad. I want to go home. You do realize you slept for 13 hours since yesterday, right? You didn't even change your clothes. Want something to drink? I got min 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 mineral water. Who <laughs> says that without a worse intention? I know, right? It's like... Why would you say that to me unless you were thinking about doing obscene things to me in my sleep? You freak. Good morning from me too. Are you awake now? Yesterday, after remembering the broken toy, you ended up falling asleep. Toma tried a few times to wake you up, but you were sleeping so peacefully that he couldn't do it. He carried you to bed and then slept on the floor. He didn't try anything funny, don't worry. Well, I'm glad I at least have Orion watching my back when I'm unconscious. Oh, but he did touch you on your head. 
He was patting your hair. You looked really affectionate. I don't fucking trust him, man. I don't care. I don't care what you say, Orion. Here's some water. The bathroom's over there. You can wash your face if you want. You should change your clothes there, too. I'll be sure not to go in while you're there. Now then, I didn't think you would. Like, why are you saying this? Ugh. Like, I've slept in the same place as my guy friends before. <laughs> it's not this weird. <laughs> it's really not this weird. <laughs> now then, what should we have for breakfast? You prefer rice for breakfast, right? Or do you want bread instead? Why are you staring at me like that? I'm gonna fucking call him on it. I'm gonna fucking call him. He's not getting away with bull. He ain't getting away with jack shit. You're new after all. I was looking at your sleeping face and started remembering when we were kids. Are you still mad about me treating you like a younger sister? Still? That means he treated you like a younger sister before and you got mad about it. Well, I can imagine that, seeing the relationship you have now. I'm surprised you managed to become boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't think we did! Oh my god, are we supposed to fall in love with this dude? Because I'm just getting the ears to ball. I know, right? Oh my god. This is the part where you go into the kitchen and throw knives at him. Yeah, I'm gonna stab him. I'll listen to what you have to say later. Let me make some breakfast for now. Let's see. I think there was rice in the freezer. Do you mind the frozen stuff? It was surprising when you suddenly regained that memory yesterday, but now that I think about it, photos of the past would be pretty effective. Toma said you could do whatever you want in here, so maybe you can look for more photos later. I want to look for my fucking charger. Two hours later, oh my god. Uh, it's later than I thought. I'm sure it goes by fast. I'm gonna go shopping for a little while, so could you wait here? If you get hungry, you can eat whatever you want in the fridge. I'm already used to you stealing my food anyway. What does he mean he's used to you stealing his food? Is he talking about when you were kids? Anyway, I'll be going now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Alright, he's gone. Time to start snooping. Time has finally come to search the house. Exactly. But we should just check the cells. It would be rude to look through- No! Oh my god, Orion! Now you're making this isn't- I'm mad at you. I don't want to talk to you, Orion. No. No, no. There weren't any. I guess that kind of makes sense. He wouldn't bring photo albums. He's just living alone. I guess having the one from yesterday was just a stroke of luck. Hmm. Look, I'm just saying, but I feel like this man maybe got rid of the other ones. Maybe he doesn't want me to remember anything. Hmm? I don't fucking trust him! We can't just leave while Toma's gone. Yes, we can! <sighs> oh my god. We can't help it. Wanna play a game? Let's see what games he has. Ooh, he has a lot. How about this one? Destiny Kingdom. Looks like a fighting game. Do you remember how to play fighting games from before? No, I'm awful at fighting games. Anyway, let's give it a try. I do not care. Start evening. Wow. <laughs> Figured we just played until Toma came back. What the heck is he doing out there? Yeah, like who says I can't leave? Exactly. Oh my god. Now he's back. Orion, oh, why do you keep whittling away my freedom? Orion, oh, you're. <sighs> we haven't even seen the blue guy or the green guy. I already know that Iki is the blue guy. So like we talked about him and we tried to see him, but no. Anyway. Oh, he's back. Fuck, he's back. I had a lot of things to take care of. I'm really sorry. I'm sure you're mad. Sorry, I really am. To make up for it, I'll make your favorite for dinner. Fried chicken and rice. Oh my god, KFC. Please try to forgive me. Also, I brought you pudding for after your bath. You always eat it frozen, right? Ew. No. After your bath? Sounds like Toma doesn't intend to have you go home yet. Oh my god. This is a strange situation, but it's not safe to be alone now. That's what he wants you to think! Oh my god! 
You did reclaim a memory here, so maybe we could stay here for a few days? What do you think? Can I have a spare key? Fuck. I was hoping, because I feel like if I asked him, I want if I said I want to go outside, he'd get all defensive. So I'm thinking, if I ask him for a spare key, he'd be like, oh, she's getting so close to me, she wants a spare key. But meanwhile, I'm just going to use it to run and lock the door behind me so he doesn't think anything suspicious or whatever. I don't know. I'll go have one made tomorrow, so just hold on till then. I'll also go check out your house. So, if you don't mind, I'll just borrow your key for a bit. I don't want him in my house. I don't want him in my house. Oh my god. <laughs> Finished with your bath? It looks like you washed away your fatigue. Dude, watch him be completely innocent and then everyone watching this that knows the plot is just like, Why are you being so mean to my favorite boy? <laughs> I mean, what's with those pajamas? They aren't sexy in the slightest. Freak? I figured you might even put on a sexy vibe after a bath like that. Guess I just set myself up for disappointment. Don't you keep running around trying to say you're my big brother? What the fuck's wrong with you? Anyway, I'll go take a shower. If you're tired, go and sleep on the bed. I'll sleep in the same place as yesterday. <sighs> oh my god. I think this is the one time I'm gonna be angry if they do that there's only one bed trope. Is it bad that I kind of want to, though? <laughs> I'm so... I crave. I came here for false affection, and I crave. <laughs> but there's only one bed, guys. We don't have a choice. <laughs> chat. Chat, what's your opinion? Chat, this is a group effort, okay? Share the bed. Share the bed. Bugs effort Bobby's with me. That's two votes. Two votes for bed sharing. <laughs> Because look, I was saying this before. The one thing that makes the yandere like trope worth it is that they're so devoted to you, you know? That's the whole draw. But so far, he hasn't done anything remotely romantic past that first thing. Most parasocial anime watcher? Yes, it's true. I added the para. I'm fucking doing it. No one else answered? So that's two to zero, baby. Together? You? With me? In the same bed? What are you implying? I don't dislike the idea. I don't dislike it at all, but... Shouldn't you say that to another guy? I might get the wrong idea that you're trying to tempt me. Tempt you with what? I just want cuddles. It's cold. You said it, your, you said it so yourself. It's like fall in the summer, so... <laughs> sure, I bet at this point. Make something worth it. I, I need something back. <laughs> I am lonely. <laughs> It'll be too late to say that's not what you intended once we're in the bed. You basically just can say that's not how this works. He already ruined it. It's been two seconds and you've already ruined it. <laughs> what? Oh, Ryan, why are you on his side? I consented to cuddles. Cuddles, I say. Maybe a singular cheeky copying of the feel. <laughs> that's it. I wouldn't do anything though. Dude, you can't just go takesy backsies on that. Oh my god. I'm drinking some fucking water. This man stresses me out. <laughs> I know, right? Like, bro? I wouldn't do anything though. Even if you were actually trying to seduce me, I wouldn't be able to. I hate him. This route sucks. <laughs> I just can't get that in that kind of mood with you. Maybe he was he took pity on us when we didn't remember anything, so he wanted to like because he knew that we liked him. And that's why I You are a perplexing creature, Toma, you know that? An absolutely perplexing creature. What is that? Green? <laughs> what was that vision just now? I wish I fucking knew, Orion. Anyway, we can't sleep in the same bed together. You're all grown up now. You can't think of me like that anymore. Not even this choice matters. But you know, the one time, the one time I was like, you know what? I'll let you, I'll, I'm all right with this, just this once. And he ruins it. I'm so, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm so mad. <laughs>
Are, are we sure I'm playing a dating sim or is this just a fucking kidnapper sim? I'm crying. I wish I had my toggles. Oh my god. Do any of the trades? I don't think with this guy. I think his whole thing is being a fucking, like, m manipulator, controller, piece of shit. <laughs> hey, what was that just now? A fragment of a memory? But that wasn't enough to tell what the memory was about. Some sort of building. And Toma. Someone else might have been there, but I couldn't see it very well. There's no mistake that Toma was there. He's the one who activated this memory anyway. Did he seem like your boyfriend? But doesn't it seem like Toma says a lot of things about not thinking of you as a girl? Things like, I can't get in a mood like that with you. That makes me want to ask why you two are even going out then. I don't think we are, man. Maybe, just maybe, this is why the message from Shin said you didn't want to see Toma. Maybe you had a fight because Toma's attitude. Stop, I need him to stay the fuck away from me. Can we please have Sheen back? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> August 10th. Oh. oh. Good morning. Toma left. Okay, time to scour his room. Toma was choking her before he left. He's fucking creepy. He's so creepy. I offer. I offer cuddles. And then you do this shit instead. <laughs> I'm mad. He must really like you. He worries so much, but seems to be a good guy. Oh, Ryan, I don't think you know anything about how human relationships work. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, Ryan, I don't trust your judgment on anything anymore either. So you gotta pick a dress. Let's decide what to do today. So far, you've been the one deciding. I don't do any 30 minutes. Oh my god. Then someone will come back while you're changing, but he didn't. My headphones have risen from the grave. Welcome back, Barfman. I'm having a fucking mental breakdown. <sighs> Which we do. I really want to go outside today, but I wonder if it'll be out late like yesterday. Do you remember the route we took on the way over here? You know, the road in front of the apartment? Wasn't it the same path from the first memory you recovered? If it is, you should go to that place again. You may remember something else. What should we do? We have no idea where Toma might be back. Maybe it would be okay to go take a look. It is really close. I hate to do this to Toma, but we can leave the door unlocked for just a little while, right? We'll hurry back. Tom was so fucking suspicious. He's he's getting worse. He oh my god. We left. But I have a feeling that Orion's gonna drag me back. Maybe we shouldn't have picked yellow. You know what? I think it's good to do this one first. We can do the ones where people actually care about me and hold my hand and maybe even give me a smooch. I feel like I clickbaited myself with the title I wrote. <sighs> My memory is just a small glimpse. We're walking around lost and Toma found you. Please, God, someone else. Someone else. I need human contact that isn't Toma. You're... Please, please, please. It's fucking this guy again. Oh, it's the murder warning guy. Should we run, fight, start chanting his spell? No, I'm gonna beg him for help. Please, this is a cry for help. Help me. Sorry about the other day. I said some weird things. I apologize. Bring the manager back, bro. Dude, we tried. I tried to go back. I wanted to see him. But then Tomo was like, oh my god, we're going back to your house. And then he was like, oh my god, you're coming to my house. And this is the first time I've left his, left his house in multiple days. Oh my god. Also, could I talk to you for a little while? Please, please. Orion, shut your mouth. <laughs> We don't want to get into any other weird trouble either. Let's go. No, 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 please. No, please. I think you'd be better off hearing this for your own good. Yes. Oh my god. I know. She's such a doormat. Oh my god. Help me. I really think you should hear this. It's about your boyfriend. Let's hurry and go. The man who's with you. He's not your boyfriend. Yeah, I got that. Don't worry. The man is with you now, isn't your boyfriend? Yeah, you just said that. I'm not lying. The liar's the other guy, not me. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to escape him for like a week. So, do you believe me? Well, it doesn't matter. It won't change anything. Regardless of what you do, they're going to kill you. At this point, I embrace it just so I can go through another route. Please, I want... 
Give me a sheen, please. I don't want to be here any- Mom, I'm scared. <laughs> Mom, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, yuck it up, buddy. I know exactly- I feel like he thinks he's, like, rocking my world right now. Bitch, I know. <laughs> We've known from literally this start. Since, like, the minute we got to the hospital, I was like, this guy's fucking suspicious. Oh, my God. Why do they want to kill him so badly? I don't know, man. I think he's, like, our actual boyfriend or something, and he's really pissed that this keeps happening. She is stupid. <laughs> she doesn't do anything. Oh, my God. I'm fucking back here again. Oh, you're awake. I thought I could get back before you woke up. It looks like you didn't manage that. You're surprised that nobody was here, right? I should have left a note. Uh, should I check up in your place? <gasps> Thank God, at least we have a spare key. We can leave again without Orion trying to guilt us. I don't even, I don't even want to read this. I'm like... <laughs> That guy's telling the fucking truth. He's telling the truth. He's so much telling the truth. <laughs> He's telling so many truths. Truth bomb. It's true that Toma doesn't save the treats here like a normal girl. Maybe he really isn't. He isn't. Uh... Why? Why? Where do you get this impression, Orion? <sighs> Orion's trying to gaslight me too. I can't. Why does Orion believe me ever? <laughs> Why is an Orion with me? Oh, you were playing that fighting game yesterday, right? I had the second one. Want to try it? Orion, he really is praying for my downfall. He wants me to fail. Oh my god. Donkey Kong! Oh my god. I live in fear, and this man's like, Oh my god, I'm playing video games! <laughs> I've been picking so many options to try and break away from this man. It's just not happening. Good morning. It's the third time you've woken up in this room now. Great. He's still asleep on the floor. Do you think Toma's got any chloroform I can use to keep him out? He looks cold. He should suffer then. No, I'm not gonna fix this fucking blanket. Oh my god. Oh, are you- Oh, oh, now you want to take me up on my offer of cuddles? <sighs> Bastard. I hate him. No. Mm. You know, he did just drag us to the perfect angle to choke him out. Oh my god. I am a sucker, though. <laughs> You know, if I just close my eyes, I imagine. Just pretend he's not gonna like it, keep girl bossing, manipulate, mansplain, male wiping me. This could be a nice moment if I didn't fear him with every fiber of my being. You're always so hopeless when you're alone. A memory? Okay. Okay. We get something good at least. She's crying. I'm crying. What's wrong? Snap time. I'll go be brother. Aww. Does this guy sleep with the dragon on? Yes, yes he does. In giraffe class. Toma. Snap time for giraffe class too, you know. What about me? Take it up together. No good. That is it. I think he might be just fiercely codependent on me. That's what I'm getting. Ugh. Disgusting. Hold your hand. See, I wish I could just enjoy this. I wish I could just let myself be spirited away by a pretty anime boy and I could feel happy. For that moment, I could be happy, but I'm just scared and confused, and I want to run. <laughs> <sighs> just for today, I'll go talk to the teacher's giraffe class. Okay, thanks. 
Try to sleep by yourself tomorrow. Come here. Sleep with you. Don't be lonely. And then we're back to the present. Huh? Wait, what? Did you did this? This wasn't me. Oh. Sorry, I was half asleep. I thought I felt something. You should have woken me up. You don't need to stay quiet if I grab onto you like that. Oh, damn it. It must be because I was having a dream about the past. <laughs> you really are warm. You said no when I asked. You don't get to be happy now. I'm mad at you. <laughs> you were so small back then, <laughs> but you've grown so much. Wait, I sound like a father or something. But you are still cute. Fucking don't compliment me now. Won't stop me. I'm still gonna run. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. I'll let you go. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, I should take back what I said before. I can't say I wouldn't start feeling things in a situation like this. <gasps> Did he pop a boner? <laughs> Tisk tisk, Toma. Illicit. You've grown too much. You're definitely an adult woman. It's true. Anyway, <gasps> he's blushing. Anyway, I still want to run. <laughs> well, he's distracted. Quick, kick him in the balls and run. <laughs> I'll be out for a little while. I'm gonna go take a look at your house. Be sure to put on some clothes by the time I get back. It's dangerous for you to just be in pajamas for a lot of reasons. God, his fucking arm! <laughs> it's back. You can never escape, just like how I can't escape him, barf man. So he says. With Toma, he said before that he wouldn't feel that way after all this time, but he does feel tense around you sometimes. Maybe the situation just now made things even more dangerous. You can't let down your guard indoors or outdoors now. <laughs> this is hell. Oh. You know, Red almost won. We could have had Sheen. <laughs> what do you think about this? Why is there I want to run option? Why is there no... I Every fiber of my being wants to run away. <sighs> Free me. Free me. Free me. <sighs> Nothing after becoming lovers because we never fucking were! <sighs> Madge. Madge, why are we just sitting around for two hours? We have a phone. Can we at least text somebody? Hi, Tama. <sighs> Whatever you want from the refrigerator, I guess there's much left there now. Uh, oh, th oh, how gracious of him. He's taking me out for a walk. <sighs> what? Still your place, nothing's changed. <sighs> he just keeps going to my house. Mm. Mm. He's too suspicious. Oh my god. <laughs> Must I? I'll blow my nose. I'm gonna sneeze. Give me a second. Still got things to do, huh? Bitch. You can hear me twice? Well, that's twice as good, baby! Double the performance! Mm. I don't want to sleep. I'm scared. Oh, fuck. What do we do? Oh. I don't know. I don't want to sleep around him, to be honest. Oh. 
Should I just lean into it? I feel like we're already here. I don't think he's gonna let us escape. We might as well just try to date him. I do sleep a lot. I'm not addicted to the game. I hate fighting games. I'm just scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? You should sleep. He's mad. Are you waiting for me? You shouldn't do that. I'm gonna be up pretty late tonight. It's not like you need to wait for me before going to sleep. We've slept at different times since you came over. Yeah, and it's fucking weird. That said, I'm pretty happy that you want to wait for me. Still, I don't have much time today, so I'll talk to you more tomorrow. You'll be here tomorrow too, right? No, 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 no. Anyway, just give it up for tonight. Good night. Be a good girl now. Don't fucking say that to me. You don't deserve to say that to me, bastard. Get to call me big. Nothing even happened. I didn't even get a romance scene. He, d I mean, he called me a good girl, but <laughs> that's nothing. He's pulling the good girl card exactly. I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm wasting away the entire game in this fucking apartment. Yes, gotta quietly. We're sneaking out. Let's. I want to sneak out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. He's asleep. Let's go. Fucking go. No. Stop. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. He's still asleep. Okay. Sure. Sure. And just anywhere. I mean, I would have preferred the workplace because there's other people I can talk to. I need to access my support network. I literally have not been able to. <sighs> Let's go. Let's just go. Anywhere. Anywhere but here. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're walking. We're walking. I'm just saying, I haven't encountered any problems when he's not here. Just saying. Let's see, the mailbox is... Looks okay. No sense in worrying. Smell's still there. Okay. Several days. Reza hasn't gone away yet. I guess that smell will just take more time. Seriously wonder what's up with those eggs and bugs. Maybe it was a prank. Mmm. Um, and he's changed. Yeah, I'm. So, this man has been in and out of my house a lot. There is something different. Isn't that your computer battery over there? It is. Motherfucker. Okay. Oh, please. That's strange that it's in such an easy to find spot. It's because fucking Toma had it. Computer startup. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Finally. Check your emails first. Okay. What's this? What's what, 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 what? Oh. Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell, go to hell. Alright, honestly, I'm already in hell, buddy. You got your wish. Stupid bitch. what I do? Break up? Oh. Yeah, I think I remembered something. I know what this is about. <laughs> so, Iki, the blue guy, is kind of a, a ladies' man. So this is like the standard, he's uh, everybody's. And then all the other women start to bully you because you're dating the hot guy that everyone likes. What's the meaning of this? Oh my god, spam. This one's kind of normal looking. Title, I've got time. Let's meet at Miyoga Station at 6. I'll show you a good time. How does 20,000 yen sound? <laughs> I'm not any 10 cent whore. Or I guess two hundred dollar whore. Oh, oh well, for two hundred dollars. <laughs> no, <laughs> for legal reasons, that is a joke. Mass writers, two kinds at once. Are oh my god. More pics. I want to see a close up. The images you posted aren't all that clear. Did he... someone post my nudes? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gay, but two hundred dollars is two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? This ain't normal. <laughs> I had your name, and it had Yoga Station. These people know who you are. Talking about photos. It's like your memories, right? Nobody normal would do that. Where's Iki? Email. 
Third party leaking personal information. Oh my god. I had to use task matters to get the echoes out. Oh my god. Something went awful. But hey, you're back! And we're learning! I want to go talk to Iki real bad, but I don't know if the game's gonna let me. I can't believe this. It's way too scary. Most of them just say die or break up, though. Break up? If they're saying to break up, could that mean the culprit is sending these threatening emails is an ex-girlfriend to tell them It's not fucking... Why don't you listen to me ever? <sighs> or maybe it's someone he's cheating on with you with right now. Not possible. Because he's not even dating me. <laughs> I think Atoma cheating is the cause of this. <sighs> First suspicious email came in yesterday at 11 a.m. And yesterday Toma came back from your place at around 11.20 a.m. And if I'm just saying, if Toma's been coming here every day to erase, erase these harassment emails. Yep, sounds about right. Knows some, he knows some. Mm. He hit things like the battery and charger to make sure you can use the computer. I know! Bitch, I've been saying this the whole fucking time, Orion! Uh, thanks for catching up, honey. Thanks. You're really there when they needed you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wouldn't need to come here every single day. Exactly. You could just take your computer, too. That way he'd be able to erase these while he slept. Does that mean Tom has some other reason besides this computer to come to your place? Oh, fuck. Alright, we gotta look. After knowing what they did to the mailbox, he might have been coming every day to fix it again. They're still doing it and cleaning it up each time. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, fuck. Wait. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's set aside the who thing about him cheating for now. What do you think we're reasoning about this harassment stuff? I think there's more to it. At the very least, we can't really talk to Toma about all the emails and mailbox pranks now. Toma's trying to hide it from you, so we'll need to figure out the right timing to talk to him about it. Mm. Mm. Basics of educational psychology, reports on physiotherapy, textbooks. Looks like there's a small notebook stuck between the textbooks. A diary! Oh! Take this diary and go back. We never know when Toma could show up. See, at least now he's also afraid of Toma. God. Uh-oh. Okay. Dude, it always scares me when it does this. I'm like, something's gonna fucking attack me. Toma's gonna pop up out of the bushes. Oh, man. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Gotta open the door just now. <laughs> this is really what my teachers feel like when the whole class doesn't know shit, yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I woke up and you were gone, I was worried. Fuck you. I just went for a walk. Oh, should we? I wanna accuse him. I wanna be a bitch. You always leave me here alone, you fucker. Yes, I'm mad. <laughs> you lock me up in this fucking tower. I'm like Rapunzel out here, man. Mother Gothel looking ass. <sighs> I don't know where you went, but why don't you think a little? Do you realize why you're staying here? Yeah, because you're possessive and overprotective and codependent, you freak. But, just like you said, I left while you were sleeping the other day, too. I'm sorry. I know it's my house, but it's still unfamiliar to you. I'm sure you don't want to be alone here when you wake up. So, I'm sorry about that. Please tell me next time you decide to go out. I get so worried, I feel like I could die. Now, that's not healthy. You know? See, that's just not healthy. Anyway, that's all. Please do what I ask. I'm glad you're back, Ems. No! I'm gonna do the opposite of what you ask every time. So long as the game lets me. At every turn. That's good. Didn't know what we'd do if he asked where we went. But he didn't. Imagine if we're wrong about this. Honestly, I'd laugh. <laughs> hey, it's funny. <clears throat> I've been thinking about this, uh, thinking this is a little strange, but it seems like you've never been here before. Yeah. Your childhood friends and you're dating now. Why, why are you so hung up on this dating thing? I feel like it's obvious that we weren't dating. <sighs> She's with the diary that we brought back. 
Not something you can read in front of Toma, so I guess we should check it out later. Just put it in your bag. Can my coffee want some? I should have made tea instead. <sighs> Two hours later. Mm. What are you up to? I'm nosy. I'm a nosy bitch. Let's report this class. I'm in has some tough assignments. I don't even have time to work. You'll have trouble if you take the same classes as I do. You'll probably have to quit work too. <sighs> yeah, where's the option to yell in the little goblin's ear that they're not dating? Honestly! <sighs> Might not be so bad. I could trust my manager, but that cafe is just weird. What do you mean? Yeah, like, what are you talking about? Welcome back, master. Uh, the first time I saw you there, I nearly had a heart attack. Jean was frozen, too. I mean, yeah, it's a maid cafe, dude. Of course that's what we do. Wait, that's not how it works. Go, go, go. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know my weeb phrases. I feel like go chiso shin. Go chiso shin. Go chiso shin. It's not important. <laughs> no way. Is Maido no Shitsuji a maid cafe? No shit. It's called fucking. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> Crackinis. I'm the one who brought you there, but I thought you'd just work in the kitchen. And if you're going to do that at the cafe, anyways, you could do it for. No, never mind. Bro, you want me to put on a fucking maid outfit? Motherfucker, you didn't want to cuddle with me when I asked. You don't get to make demands. <sighs> anyway, it's already late. I need to get going soon. Ugh. Open all the emails you got, but we didn't erase any of them, did we? Someone returns to the pooter. All I did was look through your own emails. That shouldn't be a problem, but still. See, Orion, you should find the fact that you're scared of him doing, the, like, finding out about this a bit more weird than you do. I'll kiss him on his lips. I need, look, I need I need compensation for the emotional damage I'm going through, okay? I'm going out for a while. Fuck. Which one's gonna be more likely to get him to... to stay? I feel like this one might be a bit too cheeky. I feel like a simple don't leave. Oh, we got conflicting ideas. Uh-oh. Hmm. Because I feel like when every time we, like, come on too strong or, like, are obviously flirting, he kind of pulls back. You know, like the last time we were like, we could be in the same bed. He was like, no. So I'm like, hmm. Maybe if I act like a little sister. Do, like, a don't leave and then grab his jacket, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> It's kind of hard. You you have to try to interpret what the game is going to do with these. Yeah, Barfman, we need you to break the tie. Help me. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop blinking at me, you yellow freak. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally haven't been paying attention. <laughs> You're going to go, bye, Afar. You know what? I'm going to leave this up. I'm gonna go to the bathroom again. I have been chugging tea and water while I'm doing this because, you know, reading everything out loud can get a bit stressful. So you gotta make sure to stay hydrated. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom again real quick. Barfman, you keep thinking. <laughs> or just wait for someone else to show up and answer for you, but I'll be right back. Oh, okay.
All right. Did we come to a decision? Yeah, I'm back. I started moving because I, I was coming back to my chair, but I was still muted. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait. <laughs> What's the count now? <laughs> I ain't reading all that. There's too many messages. <laughs> Landed on don't leave. Okay. Oh my god. No. D -d 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 don't leave. Come on, Nita. <laughs> Why? You need something? It's two and a coin toss. Let's go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, now we gotta stay. I won't be lonely. Now we gotta. If I say not particularly, but please don't go. Like, that's so half-hearted. He's not gonna stay for that. We're trying to keep him away from our house so that he doesn't see that we looked at our computer and that we were there. <laughs> People shy, I'll be won't we? <laughs> this is a surprise. How many years has it been since you've been so honest and affectionate with me? Uh, I thought you two were going out. Oh, Ryan, we've been over this. Oh my God. Was... You know, people say Paimon is annoying. I think Orion is a million times worse. He's so much worse. No, but okay, if he finds out that we snuck out back to our apartment and have found out that he's been sneaking around, fuck knows what he's gonna do. You know, he's unstable. So for our own safety, we have to make sure he doesn't go to our apartment. If you say he'll be lonely, I can't refuse. I'll stay here today. All right, all right, all right, we did it. You're scared, right? A lot of strange things have happened lately. It's okay, Ems. I made a prob- a promise- a problem? Oh, well, he is a problem, that's for sure. I made a promise a long time ago. I said I'd protect you from anything scary. I'll protect you, I swear on it. Yeah, but if you lock me up in a fucking tower- oh my god. Don't leave would probably activate some more neurons in his brain than the other one, yeah. Get away from- I'm so glad that chat is censoring his face. Not for me, I still have to bear the full brunt of it, but at least the VOD watchers won't have to deal with it. <laughs> August 13th. Thomas awake, he's in the refrigerator. Great. Almost empty. <laughs> we have tea and wasabi. Eat up. <laughs> Why can't chat censor his stupid arm? Because, well, I mean, this text is censoring his arm, but it is up to me if you bear the full brunt or not. <laughs> Men having rice cakes? Sure. Didn't go shopping yesterday, so I don't even have bread or rice. Got a ton of rice cakes in the freezer that my mom gave me, so it would actually help if you ate some. Toscato indeed. <laughs> <laughs> please help me please oh my god she said she couldn't eat all the rice cakes my granddad gave her so she gave them to me she said something about a taste of home away from home but we live in the same city although i do agree with my parents when they say young men should experience living on their own but there's no need for a taste of home away from home when we're so close and do rice cakes even taste different i can't tell Mm. Okay. Parents' house is close. Chance to visit. I don't want to visit his parents. <laughs> I don't want to get closer. I'll have a one night stand with him, but like that's that's as far as I'd take it, man. <laughs> but I feel like even doing that, he's gonna he's gonna take it too far. <laughs> he's gonna get attached. He's gonna catch feelings or something. I don't know. <sighs> sure, let's go. Hmm. Stimulate your senses. Five gum. Oh. If Orion assumes we're dating one more time, I can and will partially dislocate my knee. Why would you do that to yourself? You should dislocate Orion's knee instead. Uh, at first, I thought you would be able to go back home after two or three days. 
You thought the same thing, right? The flight didn't bring much stuff over. You dragged me here! I didn't have time to pack. You literally scooped me up and abducted me. Oh my god. I don't have access to the dumb scrunkly. Simply reach into the computer. <laughs> Sorry, could you put up with this just a little longer? No! Oh my god. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, I know. He doesn't. He keeps such a fucking close watch on me. I swear to God. I kind of want to see the lingerie shop just to see what he'd do. <laughs> Help me pick something out, Toma. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking doing it. Like, if I'm going to suffer in this route anyway, I'm going to go absolutely monkey mental choosing whatever options I want. Okay, I got it. You do need that after all. <laughs> he didn't even blink. <laughs> he didn't even fucking flinch. I'll just wait in front of the store. I think the cafe was over. No, you're coming in with me. Ugh. Yes, drag him in. Yeah! <laughs> Goofy looking ass. That's a fucking yaoi hand, by the way. <laughs> Look at how long it is. You're shopping together already. I'm sure you'd like to do something together, no? Yes, I think it'd be funny. Get this man some lacy panties, stat! Uh, no, I... This is our best seller of the season. It comes in a set with chiffon camisole, and the back is especially lovely. N no, I... Oh, but your girlfriend would look so good in a showy bra like this, too. It's lacy and bold when combined with this outer piece. I'm trying to say... This one shows off devilish little lines, too. Very sexy. I'll measure her first. Measure? <laughs> yes, yes. With her size, I can definitely recommend this. Perfect. Do you want to try it on? Yes. Tr try it on? Okay, Mr. Boyfriend. Wait over here. Are you ready yet? Tell me when you're done changing. I'll draw back the curtain. <laughs> yes, squirm! <laughs> Oh, super cute. What do you think? It suits her perfectly, doesn't it? And we can top it off with this elegant piece. Oh, would you like to try on one of our imported sets? I don't understand how people can wear lacy stuff, but maybe it's because I've only ever had, like, itchy lacy things. I think for the most part, people only wear it if they know it's going to get looked at. You know? At least I would. Not that anyone's looking. <laughs> And this says we got granny panties, and that's it. Comfort only, baby. <laughs> Fucking, like, ten pack from Target. <laughs> this one's very popular. It's super soft to the touch. Wanna give it a feel? Let's see, what else? <gasps> Wait, Mr. Boyfriend, you can't leave now. How is it? Is the fit okay? I'll open the curtain. Gaze. An hour? <laughs> <laughs> Boxer boots are comfy for any gender. That's true. <gasps> I've, I haven't worn them, but they look super comfy. Suffer, suffer, worm. <laughs> you testing me or something? I just think it's funny. <laughs> I need, I need some levity, man. You're, you're stressing me out. <laughs> why is it? Why does Orion hate me? The one guy who's supposed to be on my side. I'm, stimul I'm stimulating. I'm stimulating him. <laughs> I realize we're living together now, right? Yes. Dear God, at this point, like, just anything else that isn't me fearing for my life, which at this point, I take it. Dude's doing all this psychopath stuff, but can't walk into a lingerie shop without getting flustered. I know, right? Oh. Don't get undressed like that in front of a man so readily. <laughs> Don't show me your underwear. Boo, you're no fun. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to help you choose if you weren't living together. Wait, well, why? 
What, what difference would that make? I'd almost say it was adorable, but I don't like him. I know, right? That's why I'm like, I need this little bit of levity. I need a little bit to be like, oh, that's kind of cute. Anyway, back to fearing for my life now. <laughs> Fuck. It'll be it if I start thinking you're just trying to tempt me. At this point, I am. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I need a break. I should have realized that. It wouldn't be funny if I did something to you when you came to my place to escape danger from outside in the first place. Well, to be fair, at this... Like, this is... <laughs> it's almost like a form of self-harm where, like, I'm so afraid for my life that... Just, you know, release tension. You know what I'm saying? I'll take anything. <laughs> Watch yourself tonight. If I remember all that from just now, like, what is this? What is he saying? He's such a freak. Oh my god. I'd be surprised if I tried something, but I'll try to control. Like, who says that? And he should be put on a fucking list. Hello, yes, nine one one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we should have bought a taser like a million years ago. All right, um, I want to find another character, please. I feel like green could be at the bookstore. Blue could be at the clothing store. But I feel like it's more likely to find green at the bookstore. You want something to help pass the time. Let's go. Okay. I'll, I'll pick drugs next. 30 minutes later. Oh, my God. Please. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> nothing goes my way nothing ever goes my way drugs <laughs> 30 minutes later she skips the whole trip what's even the point shampoo <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I really... He's such a fucking creepazoid. Why are you sniffing my hair, bro? God. <sighs> please let Iggy be there. Please, please. I need to speak to another human. Fuck, it's skipping the whole thing. <sighs> Chat. Chat, I'm so tired. <laughs> Worst date ever. This sucks. Como las drogas. Yeah, we went for the shampoo and probably, like, tampons or something. <laughs> Last track of the day since summer vacation started. Are. Girl behind you just pulled scissors from her bag. Stab me, please! <laughs> Snip? Oh. Oh. Fuck, she just cut my hair? God. Couldn't have the decency to at least stab me. Who cares? I'm just gonna pixie cut. We look cute. Who are you? It's not that big a deal, bro. Calm down. Where is Iki? No. I did an evil villain lap earlier. I don't want to be too loud. It's been like almost midnight. <laughs> you get an Ojo Sama laugh real quick. It's just the hair, dude. You need to take a fucking chill pill, honestly. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> I'm more afraid of you than I am of her. Like, this is just petty. It's it's petty bullying. I don't care. You're fucking trapping me in your house and won't let me out of your sight. I'm a lot more worried about that. At least that's cute. Oh no, some of my hair. 
I'm fine. God, you're such a nag. <laughs> why? Why are you like? <laughs> why is he thinking so hard about this? <clears throat> I prefer like short, fluffy streamer boy care haircut on all genders. That's true. It's a good. It's a good cut. I'm able to hide it by brushing it. Again, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Being able to hide it doesn't make it okay. I feel bad. You feel bad about this. You should feel bad about kidnapping me. <laughs> oh my god, he's using this as an excuse to keep me trapped again. It's not a big deal. It's, it's some hair, man. Oh my god. I, I feel like I'm the only person here that has normal emotions. Why are you so close again? Unless you're gonna kiss me, like, go away. <laughs> you're gonna kill her? Like... Oh my god, I mean, I knew he was a yandere, but jeez, man, calm down. <laughs> you didn't mistake? What the fuck? I want you to just imagine MC just, like, taking a couple steps away from him, just, like, kind of shuffling. <laughs> just like... Mm. It's it's all right, man. Pats him on the shoulder a couple times. It's fine. <laughs> you just don't don't worry about it, Bucko. <laughs> oh, you're doing too much, sir. I wish you would do nothing. I wish you'd disappear. <laughs> I wish you'd leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Today wasn't harsh at all! Oh my, I feel like they're more worried now than they were when I almost got pushed in front of a train. Like, what's going on here? I'm getting, like, a whiplash. <laughs> oh my god. That wasn't even cowardly. Like, she did it to my face. The cowardly one's the ones filling my fucking mailbox with eggs and rats or whatever. And sending me death threats through email. Those are the cowards. I, I admire her, um... Tenacity, I suppose, to just walk up to me and cut some of my hair off. <laughs> they are! They're more worried about this. It's crazy. Oh my god. I forgot who she was. Who cares? Literally. Who? You know that girl? No, who asked? <laughs> it's nearly 12. It might be best to sleep. No, he, I feel like he's telling that to me. I have a, I have work tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, it is at 10, so it's like not that big of a deal, but I should go to sleep soon. But also, I don't want to stop playing. I'm kind of invested in this now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this goes till the 30th of August, so we're not going to finish the route unless I die early or something. Let's see, let's see. I won't go further than 1 a.m. EST. <laughs> So that's like another hour and 20 minutes tops. <laughs> it's not like there's anything good on TV now, and I'm sure you're tired. I'll go to sleep too. Cool my head and try to think straight. Oh my god, you haven't thought straight once this whole fucking time. Turn off the lights, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> Do what you want, it's not like anything I say will stop you anyway. Yeah, it's fine. I guess. She would be, we've been together since we were kids. Something, um, uh huh. Avoiding me, uh huh. Okay, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. Thought you were distancing yourself from me, and I was shocked to still feel the way now. But after you started distancing yourself like that, I kind of started losing confidence. I, uh, yeah. I want you to know that I would never do anything to hurt you. Looks into the camera like I'm on the office. <laughs> Thinking straight is overrated, think eh? You know, if he were, he'd be a better person. I'm just saying. And they won't let anyone else hurt you either. You're the one doing the most to me. Doing the worst to me. Oh my god. Oh no. I don't like that spooky noise that just played just now. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just whimpering now. <laughs> Why is he talking to himself? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> bold of me to say that. I talk to myself all the time. 
Behave, behave myself to fucking audacity. Yeah, I don't like the way. Motherfucker, <gasps> that's what I am. You won't let me. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Guys, I can't. I can't do this. I can't, I can't keep doing this anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Out of my sight. Out of my sight. Yeah, good morning, traitor. I don't I don't wanna to talk to you. <laughs> I don't wanna to talk to you right now. Memory? Memory. <laughs> Toma is gone. <laughs> to head train station? Me, I actually want to go into the legal profession, if I can, although I know it's hard to get in. Something like an attorney or a prosecutor. What do you think fits me best? Criminal in a jail cell. You want to go into teaching, right? I wonder if we could attend any lectures together if I get into my university. Oh, you get into my university, my bad. <laughs> Man, she remember something. Alright. Who is saying law? I know, right? Almost cute again, but then you remember everything else. <sighs> Intimidating. Hey, this time I didn't pass out. Let's go. No! Why are you listening to him? This is why I don't want to talk to you. I want to go to my job. You know, where other people who know me are. You know, I haven't spoken to another person other than Toma and you in like two weeks now. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> I realize it's dangerous to walk around right now, but want to try going to your place? No, I want to go to my job, please. All right, sure. And some clues that'll point to the culprit. Whatever. Fine. Fine, as long as I'm out of here, but I just- I know you're just gonna drag me back afterwards anyway, so fuck it, man. <sighs> Whatever you want, Orion. It's not like I get a choice anyway. I'm going. <laughs> what- wanna know what's scarier? Staying locked up in this fucking apartment for any longer. I can't. Oh, man. <sighs> 20 minutes later? Hmm. Be best if you didn't look. Let me look. This is the mailbox. Who cares? Go by a place that's plastered with papers. They got rumors about you written on them. It's mostly the same as messages you got before. Just simple things like idiot and break up. Why does he seem to think that my fragile mind is going to shatter upon this mild and honestly weak sauce bullying? The breakup one is kind of making me curious. Does that mean they got something to do with Toma? He did it again. It's not Toma. No one gives a shit about Toma. Oh my god. You know, maybe if you let me go talk to my other friends. <sighs> what? What is? What, what are? What are these things? You know what? I think I need a moment. What is this? Oh shit! <laughs> Suspicion is maxed out. <laughs> That's true. Doubt. Measure of doubt felt by the heroine. A lot. Good. And these two. These are both like. Hi, though. I don't like this. I didn't know this was a thing till now. I figured I'd check. I'm not even surprised anymore. Oh my god. Ugh. Let's see, what else do we have? Not much. Let's just save. I don't want to do any- Look, whatever ending I get with Toma, I'm not coming back to him. I don't want to. <laughs> I got trauma, man. Why are we just listening to him? Yes, it's me. Hi. You're so mad at me for leaving. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. <laughs> guys, I hope this isn't what makes him snap. Uh oh. <laughs> Whatever, just come with me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit, my mouse is on the screen. Get out of there. Wait, Toma, you're squeezing him's hand too hard. It hurts. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Did you seriously think you'd be okay just wandering around on your own? I mean, I've done it before. I'm fine. Yesterday was just your hair. But someone could stab you or something next. It'd be a relief. Let me out. I wouldn't let them. I was keeping a lookout around her. Didn't I tell you before? If you're going outside, tell me. You can't even do that. I don't trust you, bro. I wish I could. But fucking MC is made of paper mache. She can't. Or what? Was there somewhere you wanted to go so badly that you'd not tell me and risk getting killed? Yes. Away. Away from you. Banana boy. Yes. Fucker. Oh, I see. So that's how it is. I feel like I'm just inciting his obsessive tendencies, but maybe that'll just get this over with quicker. <laughs> In the end, it seems like I'll just leave. No matter how much I try to stop you. Oh god. Yep. Here we go. No matter what I say, you trust someone else over me. You haven't let me speak to anybody else. What, what do you mean, trust someone else? You're the only one here. And I still distrust you. I'll come down in an hour. Don't talk to me until then. I... Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but once once I get to that point, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> he got really mad. Yeah, well, sucks for him. Might have been better to stay in the house. No! What is wrong with you, Orion? Oh my god, I'm having a mental breakdown. No! I want to leave! I don't want to pick any of these. I guess this one, because this means, yeah, you're right. You should have stayed in. <sighs> well, I know, right? Like, what is this? At this point, I'm just like, just fucking lock me in the basement already and give me the game over screen. Like, I can't do this anymore. <sighs> First time we met. You know what? What if I endeavor for the cage ending? What if I quote unquote tempt him at every turn? And also keep running away from him. Because I feel like getting him obsessed with me and also making him really afraid that I'm going to run away is how we get the cage ending. <laughs> that is the only ending that I know of in this game. And now I want it. Let's <laughs> do Ryan. God, no. I'm not happy with him either. I'm mad at him. Keeps taking Toma's side for some reason. Go to sleep. Turning off the lights. Good night. Also, come over here. Oh, fuck. I really have. Uh, yep. Oh, no. His face is kind of scary here. His, his face is scary. If you come over here so obediently, I wonder whether you've forgiven me or if you just don't see me as a man. Bitch, you're the- Can you tell me one thing? Do you like me? Oh, fuck. Hmm. Chat, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Lie. What do you- What do you mean, lie? Say yes? Alright. I see. Thanks. I'm really happy. But I'm still gonna run. I'm seducing him. But I'm so happy I want to cry. But, but those feelings of yours are probably supposed to be for someone besides me. But I just don't want to see you cry. <laughs> seduce! Seduce! Did you know there's a free dating sim on Steam called Seduce Me Otome? And it has the voice actor of Legoshi Beastars and also Sino Genshin Impact in it. <laughs> I'm outing them for one of their really, really, really early work. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll play it. That'd be kind of funny. I, I know... Well, I don't know all the roots, actually. I just know my favorite boy. <laughs> Alright, wait, fuck. We're, we're having a moment. Sorry. Ahem, ahem. I don't like it when you're sad. Or when you're hurting. I want you to smile. 
And I want to let you smile. Bitch, you won't. You keep me... <sighs> That's why you do that. I don't care if you end up hating me. That's what I've decided. Motherfucker. This fucker. This fucking guy. <laughs> this really is painful. I want to be kinder to you than anyone else, but I can't. No matter what, I can't. The fuck do you mean? Oh my god. This guy, this fucking guy. <laughs> Tom. Yeah, like, what do you mean you can't? Wait, what's stopping you from just not being a freak? Oh, man. I drink a bad coffee, black tea. I love how he asks, and I never get to answer. I keep just giving you whatever I think every morning, but you don't complain at all. SMH. I want out. I want out. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> yeah, oh, there's something that's bothering you. Mm, I wonder what it is. He seems sad, I think. He was hugging you, but he had this really sad look on his face. Mm. Mm. Alright, hold on. Let me look at the parameters again. Hold on. I can't tell what happened. I don't remember where we were at before. I love how much doubt there is, though. Love that. That's great. Anyway. Itadakimasu. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's the top two? My bad, my bad. Hold on. It goes... The first one is affection. <laughs> trust. Tr it says trust, not lust. <laughs> and then suspicion. Um, let me move. There we go. Suspicion elicited by the heroine's memory loss, which honestly has probably been maxed out since the start. I assumed it was lust. Yeah, I noticed that when I looked over at OBS and I was like, oh, no, it's trust, it's trust. Long nap. Yeah, good morning, captor. <sighs> Fucking Stockholm Syndrome in my ass, I swear to God. Yeah, the trust is way too high. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Nope. <sighs> I don't want to hear it. This small talk, don't want it. Unless it's advancing the plot, don't care. I am reading it though, I promise. <laughs> mm. I'm just shaking my head this whole time, man. Oh, man. Oh, I feel like all my commentary is just, oh, man. God damn me, man. No bueno. August 16th. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Break breakfast. What's for breakfast? Just bring me breakfast. Jailer. Uh oh. I can sense myself getting far, far worse. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't want my toggles. It sucks. <laughs> Very sad. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, boys. No. I don't feel refreshed. Mm. 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 
I feel like he's not as worried as he should be about this. Oh, he's sedating us. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I didn't even think of that, but also, it's really suspicious. Because we, we ran away. Because we ran away. Oh, fuck, what if he is? Oh, shit, I didn't even think of that. Oh, my God. I think you're onto something, though. Oh, my God. He's absolutely fucking groupy, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he called me princess. No, 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 no. He's sleeping beautying my ass. Um... Where's the option to refuse to eat? Um. Um. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what's wrong? Fucking Toma's what's wrong. Don't do- Don't get out of my face, you fucking bastard. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go be a normal person at work tomorrow. I'm gonna have to enter society. Oh my god. <gasps> we didn't even wake up. We didn't even I didn't touch the I didn't touch the keyboard. I I promise. Wake up. Oh shit. I'm absolutely getting drugged. Oh no. I don't want to look at him. I don't want I do not see it. <sighs> Don't you act fucking coy about it, you bitch. He's not even worried. <sighs> He's not even pretending. Yeah, I got that. He was mixing shit. You weren't even paying attention before. Oh my god. Abs it absolutely was. Oh, Orion, now are you going to start listening to me when I say we have to fucking run and not trust Toma? <sighs> yeah, Bugs, everybody, you fucking got it. <sighs> I'm trying to keep you from it. Yeah, I know. He's been doing that since the start, honey. Honey, where you been? Welcome. I'm glad we're on the same page now. Maybe you'll finally start taking my side. No chopsticks in it. Wow. Please, help me, help me, help me, help me, please! I need help! Oi. 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 You're the one who called me, so I'm coming in. Who is it? Oh my god, Shin, please, 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 please! Why is she here? Please help me, please help me! I'm blinking so many times. I'm so, oh my god, I'm so ecstatic to see another human being. Seemed like she wasn't at home for several days. Yeah, because he fucking- He kidnapped me. He kidnapped me. I'm here against my will. He's been drugging me, please. God, MC opened your fucking useless mouth. I came here to ask if you knew anything about it. So what's the meaning of this? First you come in without asking, and then this isn't your house, you know. You're awfully defensive. Shin, please, please notice something's wrong. I'm begging you no, to get me out. Just answer me. What's going on here? There were circumstances. I'm sheltering her. No, you fucking kidnapped me and you won't let me leave. Sheltering. Uh. Oh, sorry. I think my, my chair was making noise. My leg is bouncing so much. <laughs> so frantically right now. She didn't even tell me. Honestly. Sorry for not telling you, but she's consented to this. No. No, no, help, 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 help. <laughs> Please. Oh my god. I knew it. There's no way she would stay at your place on her own. And if you forced her to come here, there's no way she would just sit by and stay like this peacefully. That's harsh. Why would you think that? I've been clawing at the wall, scene. Please. It should be obvious. It's because she said herself that she didn't want to see you. Oh, really? She's only here because you forced her to come, am I right? I don't know, are you? Why is he looking at me during all this? I'm so... I'm really disconcerted. This is kind of scary. Stop looking at me. 
You seriously think that attitude of yours doesn't piss me off? I don't think that. I just don't care whether or not you get angry about it. Oh, I get it. You're just the same as always, Toma. I saw the pranks being done to her place. It was pretty bad. And I realize it's better for her to not be there because of it. But she doesn't have to stay at your place. She could go to a motel or to one of her friends' houses. There's a lot of options. Why didn't you let her do that? Instead, you told nobody and put her under house arrest in your apartment. Yes, yes, finally. Finally, who understands? Can you tell how much I went insane during all that? I'm like, oh my god, Sheen is really just cementing himself as my favorite, huh? Sheen, sweetie, you're next. You're next. You get kisses from me. I wonder why. What do you think? There's no need to even think. <laughs> He's the goat and our beloved. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> oh my god. Toma, all you wanted to do was keep her locked up and in your possession. I can't deny that. I really did feel that way. I have other reasons for keeping quiet. I don't trust anybody but myself. I trust literally anybody who isn't you. Funny how that works out. Not even you, Sheen. Oh, I'm sure. That's just the kind of person you are. So now that you know the situation, would you mind going home? Take me with you, please. To be honest, I don't want you to be around here either. You seriously think I would just agree to go home? I do. Once you realize that this is the best solution. Mind coming outside, Sheen? I don't want Ems to hear what I'm about to tell you. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't. Don't follow us. If you do, I'm gonna skip all this peaceful talk, knock Sheen out, and confine you both here. At least I'd have a friend. Oh my god, guys! What? Dude, you've gotta be joking. I'm serious. We haven't fought since fifth grade, but it could be interesting to see who wins now. Fine. I'll listen at least. Let's go. They left me here. Maybe we could listen in. What should we do? Listen in. Besides, what do you think about the situation? Do you want to escape? I want to escape. Free me. I don't know why you ever trusted Toma. He was so suspicious from the start. But he still likes Toma even after all of this. I just don't want to try believing in him. Go along with... No, no. Let me out. 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 What did you do to him? Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you do to him? Oh my god. Oh my god. At least, okay, he's still trying to help me. Oh my god. I don't trust anyone this time. <laughs> I'm just crying. Please just just knock him out, Sheen. Please. What good will it do to start yelling here? I have a friend now. There's someone on my side. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, he did say that already, that he doesn't care if I hate him. It's like a curse. Oh. Yeah, I wish that we used our phone that we have. Even if it is bugged, like I, I need I need <laughs> I'm swooning. I'm. <laughs> if I had my toggles, I'd be blushing right now. It's not like he's your boyfriend or anything. Oh, Ryan, I. St you're still. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, Ryan, please. Why do you never listen to me? Yeah, I did. What did he mean? I got that already. Kinda hurts my feelings. I should have shut Shin up. 
This was a mistake. Do you think I'm lying to you, Ems? You think I took advantage of you not knowing anything and tricked you into thinking I'm your boyfriend? We told him! Oh, that's right. The harassment at your house could have been all my doing, too. I could have driven you to the edge by doing that just to confine you in this room. No, no, I do think he's genuinely, he genuinely wants to protect me, but he's also just fucking insane, is the thing. <laughs> he's just mad. Are you afraid of me? Yes. Easy yes. At this point, I don't care what ending I get. I'm, I'm speaking my truth. <laughs> I'm sure. There's no way you couldn't be scared of a man like me. Hi, Lucid. Welcome. <laughs> I've been kidnapped and am now being held hostage. Tee <laughs> well, That was a pretty unexpected nuisance. Guess what's there? Got a standing ovation. Let's go. Congratulations. I thought it would go well, but I guess things never go how you want them to. Yeah, clearly, motherfucker. Everything I've wanted to do, you, you vetoed and then locked me in your apartment. Oh, my God. Regardless, I have no intention of letting you leave this place, so there's no use resisting either. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! At least I get a, a smooch. But it's very... There's no consent here. <laughs> Hi, Lucid. I'm glad you got a standing ovation. You are walking in on a crime. <laughs> so, this is a game about how uh, we lost our memories and have to try to get them back. Basically, um, and, uh, sorry, I'm very distracted by this, this graphic in front of me. It's very, you know, in different circumstances, I would be swooning, but no, non-consensual. And there's tongue. There's tongue. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, basically, um, this guy who's been our childhood friend has some obsessive tendencies. We've been getting bullied by people for some reason or another. We are adults, by the way, just saying. But, um, uh... So instead of just helping me like a normal person, he decided the best way to keep me safe is to kidnap me and lock me in his apartment and not let me talk to anybody else ever. Smile or leave or do anything that he doesn't approve of. And also he recently started drugging me to keep me asleep so I couldn't wa leave. <laughs> How fun. Anyway. Wait. Did he make you drink something? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, I didn't even know I slept there's a pill. <laughs> no. No, I thought it was just a non-consensual smooch, but no, he's using it to drug me again. God fucking damn it, man. Oh. I'm sorry, Ems. Maybe I was just too late. Or maybe I've been through too much. I just didn't want to see you cry. But even that one wish couldn't be fulfilled. Why did I? Oh my god. Toma. Toma. Oh no, guys. <laughs> I love drugs. For legal reasons, this is a joke. So true. August 18th. Hooray. <laughs> oh. <gasps> my beloved. Well, I pretty much figured out that was the case. So what are you going to do? Should I try to help out? Oh, I see. Mm. Then just tell me what happened. If you succeed, I'm going to go make fun of him. Yet, yet. It's too late for that. Best boy! <laughs> but I wonder if the people in the fan club will just sit by if you do. They seem really annoying. Uh, if something like this was going to happen, you should have just quit the fan club. Joining out of amusement just because Mina asked you to is stupid, but I know it's too late now. So the deciding battle will be during summer vacation? I don't really know what to tell you, but good luck. Oh, man. Best boy. At least we got to see him one more time before Toma puts us in the cage forever. <laughs> Oh, I'm absolutely in a cage. I'm absolutely in the fucking cage. <laughs> anyway, you're okay for now. You're not in danger. Just get up slowly. I mean, I don't know how okay I can be in the dog cage. Yup. We did it, boys. <laughs> oh, 
woof woof, you know what I'm saying? Are you surprised? No. No. Is that mold on the wall? Helma. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Were you cold? If you're cold, I can give you a blanket. What, to line the bottom of this metal cage you put me in? God fucking damn it, Toma. That's a cage made for large dogs. It was tough getting it in the room. It's sealed with a padlock, so you can't get out. <laughs> woof, woof, I guess. Don't try anything silly, like trying to force it open. Who do you think has more strength? You, or a very large dog? <laughs> it should be obvious. It's not built so it can be broken easily. Mm. I'll give you all your meals. I'll let you out to use the bathroom and take showers too. Don't worry. Mm, he says don't worry, but I don't think he can say that when he's done something like this. It's the cage. We did it. We did it, boys. I feel like an idiot for trusting Toma and for letting you be near him. I'm sorry, Ems. No, you're not. But if I don't do this, he'll try to leave the room, right? Yes, obviously! Oh my god. I can't let you do that. I'm sorry. I just keep apologizing to you. At least I got a kiss. Even if it was just to drug me. Even though my apologies might just be irritating you more. Oh, but being here isn't all bad for you, you know? Mm, doubt. To tell you the truth, I was starting to get lonely. But us living together would be an issue. Would have would have been an issue. <laughs> yes, Orion, you are an idiot. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Why is there a cage? Oh, yeah, because his obsessive tendencies got the better of him now. And we are scared of him and want to run away. So he said, no, no, no. <laughs> you silly Billy, no. You're not doing that. You wouldn't want a man you don't love to take advantage of you, right? I mean, he says that, but he has the key. All right, I need to make up some reasons so that Chin doesn't come here anymore. No, best boy. I'm sorry, Ems. I'm really sorry. I wonder why I'm even here at your side. All I wanted to do was return you to normal, and if I could help you live a happy life. But this isn't happy at all. This is just sad. I just need to get out of here. I have hope. I don't have time to be gloomy. I still don't know exactly what Tom is thinking. There's no need to go this far, no matter how much danger there is. We know it's dangerous to go outside, but it's almost like he's trying to hide you from sight. What reason does he have to go that far? Could it be that one thing? After coming here, how many days was it when we went outside? There was that weird man with the long hair, do you remember? Yes, I do. He was the only other contact I had. He said you're going to be killed by him. But who is this him? Could it be Toma? Does that mean Toma will eventually kill you? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. He might. I don't want to think about it, but considering the current situation, Toma seems like he could be the enemy. That is, if we actually believe what that man said. It's possible that he's just participating in harassing you. The one who cut your hair, though, was the girl. No, I mean, he's not doing that. Is there even a culprit at all? I mean, Toma could have planned this out. No. Again, I don't think so. He's hyper-obsessive, but that doesn't mean he'd, like, do all that shit. All that shit's just what pushed him to the edge and made him snap. Mm. Okay, but, like, how the fuck am I gonna get out? <laughs> I'm just a frail little girl. I can't do this shit. Oh, he's back. <sighs> God. Mm. I'm pretty obsessive, but not kidnap someone obsessive, I know, right? You're probably hungry. I brought some food. I'll put it inside. Stand back a little. Is that a dog cage? Yes, welcome back. We made it to the cage. Um, Sheen came and oh, tried to save us. He tried so hard. Best boy tried so hard. Uh, it didn't work. That just made him more mad, and now we're in the dog cage. <laughs> you don't feel like eating? I didn't drug it or anything. Well, now you don't need to. Yeah, he was drugging us also. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. 
wonderful time to come back. I went and got things you like, but I'll just put the tray here. Oh, I see. He's going to open the lock. Maybe we can use this as a chance. Punch him in the nose. Go for the eyes. <laughs> like you could shove Toma aside and run out or something. Just leave it here. That's good. I don't know what I'd do if you refused to eat. Stand back a little. Huh? Oh, no, not the handcuffs. <gasps> Put out your hands. Don't be scared. They're made of leather. Oh, so these are specifically the kinky kind. I see. Uh huh. That's not the issue. It really isn't. Come on, put your wrists outside the bars. Hmm. I don't wanna. Oh, my mouse is in the middle. My bad. It's safer this way, otherwise, you might try to escape. <laughs> we wouldn't want that now, would we? <laughs> Can't have that happening. Fuck. It's no use thinking about shoving me aside and running away. I think you'd want to aim for when my hands were full with the tray. You understand that I need to do this. <laughs> I'll leave your food right here. I can release your hands now. If you start to hug your strike or something and refuse to eat, there are alternatives. Oh. <laughs> the mouse isn't the only way to supply nourishment. Oh, oh no, he's gonna suppository me! What the fuck, man? Hey, let's let's look at these parameters, shall we? Why is there why is there so such a little doubt? I feel like there should be more doubt. The, the trust is plummeting. Trust is definitely plummeting though. For sure. <laughs> I guess IV, but I feel like that'd be too easy for me to just rip it out, you know? Why is the trust so high? I don't know. I wonder if it's really possible to escape from Toma. It's not looking like it. Not unless Sin comes in and burns the place down or something. Several hours later. Oh, man. Uh -huh. hmm. How long is this and why does it keep getting- I think it goes to the 30th, so I'm, I'm not gonna make it to the end unless, again, I get, like, a band end early. The next up while I'm gone, you can't break that cage. It's already time to sleep anyway. I'll turn off the lights. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hmm. It's actually pretty hard unless you're having a psychotic break, but I guess the situation would make it easier. Oh, the trust, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that is what it's like. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that matters anymore, Orion. I'm gonna level with you. <laughs> this is why you go to the gym. I don't think you could break out of this either. <laughs> Be mean, or you could just trank it and then do the IV. That's true. Huge feeling of oppression. Ha! Huh, I wonder why! Rose, I need you to know that until the very fucking end, Orion kept taking Toma's side. And I I'm mad at him. I'm so mad at him. <sighs> Still found your bag around the shelf, and naturally, of course, you can't reach it from the cage. The key to the cage is not here. It's most likely what Toma's carrying with him. <laughs> This Toma guy, hmm, kind of sus if you ask me. <laughs> Might just be me though. 
Maybe the hospital was a better option after all. Yeah, I feel like just like slowly becoming a vegetable is definitely better than this. The room key. I guess he didn't go to your place. Oh, I thought that was where he wanted to go. Oh, good night, Lucid. I should go to bed soon too, but I'm so invested. It's a laptop and the screen's closed, so I can't see inside, but it's probably another report for college. Mm. <clears throat> and even if there was, I wouldn't be able to touch it. Couldn't do anything. Mm. Sheen, does that mean he's coming? Please. Please. <laughs> Just don't think of his arms. You'll get nightmares. August 19th. No. This cage is uncomfortable and I don't like it here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not talking to you. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want nothing. We're so close to the to day 30. I think, okay, I think if I just like read out loud a little less, I'll read the, the important like juicy stuff, but I might be able to finish it by one. Perfect college, what would it be? Ma'am, your job, I'll be fine. It's not like it's a particularly hard job. Oh, fuck, wait, I wasn't looking. Uh, were you behaving yourself? Of course not. <laughs> Fucker. I'm always misbehaving. Poke his eyes through the bars. <laughs> Oh. Underestimate how important sleep is. I mean, I I typically go like five hours. My shift's not until ten, so I don't have to wake up until nine. So it's really not that big a deal. <laughs> I'm not like waking up super early or anything. Now Saturday's stream, I'm definitely gonna have to end that one early because I have a eight a.m. eight a.m. shift that day. So I have to wake up at 7. And that's bad. That's pretty bad. Start to cower when you get mad. It's a habit from when we were kids. I don't care when you get mad. Trauma. Oh, I'm so sorry that when this... When I was a kid as a little girl and I got mad, you got a little scared. And now you have trauma. Oh, I'm so sorry for your trauma. I say inside a cage locked in your apartment where you feed me like a dog. What the fuck's he talking about? I know, right? <sighs> why are you asking me? You're the reason why I don't remember. I'm just mad at everything now. <laughs> don't say that! Victim blamer! What the fuck? <laughs> it's your fault he's like this. What do you mean? Oh my god. I'm blowing my nose again. Give me a second. This fucking guy, this fucking guy has the gall to say that to me and be like, I'm so bored. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you really said you hurt my Fifi, so now I'm going to cause <laughs> so much drama with a cage. <sighs> sure, I'll take a shower. Oh my god, he's leashing me! He's putting me on a fucking leash! <gasps> yeah. It's claustrophobia time. Teehee. 
簡単に羽織って出てきて、極力見ないから。いや、そのまま成人どうだね。This isn't even like the romantic kind of stalker. You know, this is just sad and unpleasant. There is no upside. He won't even hold my hand, man. He just holds the handcuffs. <laughs> this man goes out in society. And no one knows. No one knows. That's just how the world works, baby. What? Now, where was this energy earlier, huh, Orion? Why only now when it's gotten this bad do you notice? Oh my god. I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, now you say that. Too little, too late, honey. Pesk. You're not helping by being here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you're infuriating. <laughs> Maybe he'll be better in other routes where he's not oblivious as hell and gets me kidnapped. <laughs> Maybe he'll just think positive. Oh, shut up. Rich. Oh my god. Sleep time, I guess. <laughs> I'm Madge. Well, it would be, but this freak is ruining it. You're like a captive princess. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. That would make the evil demon king. That would make me the evil demon king. And I guess Shin's the hero. He is! <sighs> the Demon King will always eventually be defeated by the hero who saves the princess. Yes! I want him to kill you! So bad! But not now. I can't let that happen yet. You've become so beautiful. I hate you, 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 I hate you! Jine! <laughs> Die! Your hair, eyes... Fingers, they don't even compare to when you were a kid. Everything's so beautiful. Why are you being so fucking weird about it, too? I don't want to. I don't want mm. to. All this time, and I've only just realized it. Oh my god. Freak. Where's their nostrils? They're there. They're a little small, though. There's one there, and then one right there. No wonder someone like me can't keep a hold on you. Bitch, you're- What do you mean can't keep a hold on me? You were literally- I can't go anywhere. I- I'd say your hold on me is pretty fucking tight right now. I'm sorry. Just endure it a little longer. No! I promise I'll free you from this place when the time comes. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? Get away from me! Why is he so- Why did they make him so close? He's just showing off all the imperfections. I can see every single fucking aliased pixel. I get 20th, yay! <laughs> A shrine. Hmm. Captain Spirit, at least. It's got my goal. You want to be seen as a uh, be with him, right? Uh-oh. Well, only you do if you don't have any charms. Maybe the first thing to improve. Uh-oh. Hello, Alex. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna listen to what you have to say. Nobody's ever come to me for love advice before, so this is pretty refreshing. Let's see. Who will be the most effective? I want him to look at me. Oh, fuck. Is this, like, a genie wish gone wrong or something? I want him to love me. More than now, and more properly. Uh oh. Well, careful what you wish for, I guess. 
Mm. I don't know if that was. Mm, I don't know about love advice. Faceless. Who? Never heard that voice. Mm. Most important memory or feeling. Okay. Oh, you're awake. Leave me alone, man. Just let me sulk. <laughs> Luckily, recently, they've pretty much always been off screen now. The arms. You seem so disoriented in the mornings. Were you always this bad at waking up? <laughs> You're like a different person from last night. They are very twig-like, that's why. <laughs> oh, right, here. A box. It's a jigsaw puzzle, one with a thousand pieces. You're bored, right? <sighs> this fucker. Honestly! I don't have the energy for this one. <laughs> they are disgusting. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> now I'm making you look. <laughs> Be out for a little while again. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> My eyes! This is very wild to come into stream at this point. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just getting Stockholmed. Well, it's not really working. I do not like this man at all. <laughs> yeah, his arm's very unpleasant. Let's see if the, the worst sprite comes up again. You went home the other day, right? I left your computer battery out by accident, so I'm sure you saw the messages. What else did you see? The posters? Your mailbox filled with ketchup? I cleaned everything up, but you figured it out, right? Or did you not? I mean... Yeah, I don't think he's been doing that. I guess you don't trust me. Although that doesn't bother me now, after all this. But you need to pay attention to things like that, or I'd be too worried to let you out of here. You didn't think I knew you went back home? Sorry, but I've got sharp senses. It's why I'm so good at poker. I mean, I wouldn't- I didn't know you were good at poker. Oh, and just so you know, I didn't put a tracker on you or anything. I don't intend to infringe upon your privacy. Oh! Oh, how gracious! How gracious of you, sir! I take the tracker if it meant we can get out of this cage. Yeah, like, if it meant I could go on, like, government-sanctioned walks. Anyway, I don't mind if you hide things from me, but assume that I know them already. I'm sure you already know this, but it's pretty hard to fool me. See you later. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad he has limits, she says sarcastically. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> and they're back. <laughs> He's got his good points, maybe. Nah, it wasn't like that before. I mean, he was a kid, so. I mean, my opinion was changed from the start. You're the one who needed your opinion. Oh, anyway. I'm back in. If MC forgives him, I swear to God. You get no welcome. <laughs> any askers? Any askers? Any askers? Any askers? <laughs> Ain't no shot, man. If I have any say in the matter, fuck no. Mm. Mm. Orion, please. Please. Spare me. Spare me. <laughs> I just washed my hands. That's why they're wet. 
no other reason. <laughs> You get nothing. Nothing. His arms look like noodles, yeah. Little stick boy. Oh, it's Iki. This is the first time we've ever seen him. I only know who it is because, you know. <laughs> I, just, I just, no, I just know him. I guess he's in this one. Something you like? I see you've grown up enough to say things like that. Well, you are in college already. Pretty late to start getting interested in men, if you ask me. You just entered college and you're already talking about this? So did you find a guy you like at this university? Shocked? Why would I be? This is something I should be happy about. MC, your affections are wasted on him. <clears throat> Wholly and entirely. I feel like nothing's even happening while we're locked in here. <laughs> this should be MC's lesbian awakening, honestly. It's not worth the trouble. I feel like it's the, the, the guy with the long green hair that threatened us. <laughs> Love advice is the important memories. <laughs> Mm. Oh, he's here? Oh, fuck. I just kind of assumed he wasn't since he wasn't creepily staring at me through the bars of the cage. He slumps on the floor. Ugh. Any askers? Any askers? Any askers? SMH. What? Huh? Huh? Wait. Huh? 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 Oh my god, you god, don't give me hope like that, you piece of shit. I was like, oh, maybe. No. <sighs> Fuck off. Oh, I'm so sorry. My condolences that you're so shocked. <sighs> I hate him. Good. Die. It definitely does mean you can stop. It for sure, you for sure can stop. Anytime. Anytime would be great. You know? <sighs> Why do you sleep on the floor? Fuck it. Oh, so it's out of some twisted sense of pity, I guess. <sighs> You've been looking so hard. Ugh. No. No. That ain't how this works, buddy. Oh, a memory. I really want to see him, but I can't yet. Right? The me right now is still just a little more, just a little bit longer. I love you. Who are you talking to? I can tell him these feelings. <sighs> the 
The cage was gone and now it's back. This sucks. Sorry. Looks like I woke you up. Are you just fucking staring at me while I slept? Ew. I was watching you sleep. Are you mad? Yes. Well, I, I don't know if I'd say mad, but I feel violated. <sighs> I've already given up, and I know I'm past the point of no return. But I really am scared of being hated by you or Shin. Well, too late. Too late. I wanted you to be happy. You and Shin. You're both like family, and I treasure you. But I really am the worst. If <laughs> Shin found out about this, I doubt he'd get away with just a punch to the face. Yeah, I hope he fucking disembowels you, you freak. No, don't, don't feel single looking at this, bro. This ain't it. What would I do after Shin beats the hell out of me? What then? Maybe I'd move somewhere far away so you'd never see me again. I want you dead. I'll kill you myself. Give me a knife. Stab. I'll just start sticking it through the cage. <laughs> Watch your fingies, bitch. Swipe, swipe. <laughs> well, I guess 20 seconds. Hooray. Oh, for a while. Ugh. Why even? I don't live there anymore. Why do you even bother cleaning it up? Mm. I mean, I don't know. To be honest, I've recovered more memories than ever before just sitting in this cage, to be honest. Like, it, let's be real. <laughs> mm. eh? <gasps> oh, shit! I've never gotten this heated over an anime bo boy before, but this one, I want to... Oh, I want to ruin him. And not in the hot way. In a murderous way. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we could have broke out at any time, huh? Well, anyway. <laughs> Fucking run. Go. Run, run, run. Jack Manifold voice. Run, 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 run. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Do the work, 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 go to the work. I, he wastes so much of my time. I've had so many openings to escape and go find help from the, the other people that I know. And he's always just narrating my time away. Oh my God. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I don't care. SMH, SMH. <laughs> Yay, we broke out. Let's just sit here and reminisce on the past. Like, it should have been grab the phone and bolt. Instantly. Not stand around and talk. <laughs> Grab the phone and fucking gun it. <laughs> Types in the number slowly. Should be glad. Battery probably died. Yep. Aha, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> How could I have? <laughs> Bro, I've been in here for, what, like a week now? That's not true. A couple days, though. <laughs> I'm so antsy to just get the fuck out of here and run. Oh, come on. Eh? Oh no. Uh. 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 Oh no, is he gonna take the puzzle? Uh oh. 
最近のお前の趣味はぬいぐるみとか本とかチョコレートの箱とか人気のとか少しはマシになるかと思ったらねこの間やったジグソーパズルは知ってねあきれたこれってトーマの愛情それとも罪悪感 Who knows maybe a mix of both Oh my god <laughs> How thoughtful A bunch of useless garbage <laughs> I feel like Toma's route is less about trying to date Toma and more about trying to escape him alive. <laughs> That's the good end. The good end is getting the fuck away from him. Nothing. Oh, fuck. What do I say? <sighs> we want to avoid suspicion and keep the puzzle box. We need to keep the puzzle box. That's the most important thing. So maybe playing along with him. Oh, oh. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not gonna overthink it. Never thought of you that way, not when I was. You don't belong to me. Oh, yeah, man, I can, you're sure acting like it. <sighs> This man, oh, he's fucking. Ew. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat, man. Why are you whispering? No one can hear you but me. Yeah, he's a psycho, so his opinion doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Must be really bored. <laughs> Oh, I'm sassy. I'm sassy. <gasps> I have a character trait. I'm sassy. Let's go. Receive the message. Sorry, so we should check the ones that look important at least. Oh. Iki. Oh, what did he say? What happened? You don't seem to be well. I'm worried. I wanted to visit, but Rika stopped me and said it was unfair. I'm sorry. It's also not right to intrude on a girl while she's in bed. I just hope things are going well with the guy you like. Iki. Honestly, like, just ask Sheen for help. Please. Call 911. Anything. Well, this is Japan. It wouldn't be 911. Whatever the fucking not Japanese equivalent to 911 is. Seems like he's just giving you advice. He has a girlfriend named Rika. That means if you ask Iki, you might find out who you really had feelings for. Shin might be good for that. I'm talking to Shin too. Mm. Mm. It's definitely not fucking Toma. I'm not doing that. I refuse to pick that. I don't want to know right now. Right now, I really do not give a shit. Right now, I want to get out of here. <laughs> that too, but mostly, I'm kind of... <laughs> we have more important things going on right now. I know this is a dating sim, but like this is kind of dire. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what is with this girl? Please, just call for help. Oh my god. Yeah, so I should call for fucking help, not talk about schoolboy crushes. I hate you. He did it again! He did it again! He just kept talking and ruined my chance to escape! <sighs> Orion, I am sick of your shit. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to be here. I can't do this anymore. Oh. 
Time is back. Not that it matters if he finds the phone. It's dead anyway. I'm pouting. Any askers? Any askers? Any carers? Anybody give a shit? <laughs> I don't. Not anymore. He had his chance to just be normal about it. まだ感じ一緒だな。どうした?戻りたくないのは分かるけど、どっちと俺の視点から見。うん。うん。うん。Well, hmm. hmm. I feel like asking do you hate me is like an easy like he'll just say no, you know? Cause like he very obviously does not hate me. <laughs> He's just a freak. Yeah. Why would you ask that? And would it matter if you knew? Maybe, maybe if I go in for it. Maybe if I go in for it, we can manipulate. <laughs> we can guess like gatekeep girl boss our way out of this. I'm going for it. Oh? Dodanse. What are you doing? Stop it. Are you flirting with me or are you just feeling pity? You should only do this to the men you like. Don't do it to me. I'll start to believe that you might forgive me. Oh, never. Never. I... I don't have the right to touch you or even tell you my feelings. I don't even have the right to have dreams or hopes. Why is there a loading screen? What's happening? This is a really weird place to put a loading screen. Uh oh. Oh. The day just ends? <laughs> that's, that's the end of the day? We're back in the cage, I guess. That was really anticlimactic. Um, okay. Sure. I'd love to go to work, please. I've want I've been saying this for the past two weeks and you just wouldn't let me. The dangerous gamble, shut up. Let me go talk to the people I know. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Fuck, I need to pee again. Ugh. I wanna finish this, but there's still so much, so much left. <sighs> let's let okay, let's let's finish out this day. And then I'll end stream. I'm going. Stop talking. Let me leave. If you say one more word before I'm fucking hell. He did it again. He did it again. I don't know why I even try. I don't know why I hope. Orion's here to, to thwart me at every turn. How long will you be gone? Mm. Be gone, thought. Alright, let's fucking go. Please, God. Please, God, let me talk to somebody. Oh, it's the green hair guy. Huh? It's been a while. It he. It's emo N, Pokemon. <laughs> The fact that we haven't met for so long means Toma's been keeping you captive, right? How does he know that? That's why I told you. The man near you wasn't your boyfriend. I knew! 
Again, this isn't new information. What? I didn't tell you? Oh well. I've told you before, although I suppose it wasn't you. Eh? That man gets intense tunnel vision when it comes to you, so I guess confining you to his room is rather lenient considering. Still, he's more troublesome than the others. I've hardly seen you meet any happy endings with that guy, after all. Oh, so we picked the worst character first, didn't we? Okay, cool. Love it. Ha, <laughs> great. Unlike me, he's not aware of his insanity, so he's difficult to deal with. So, what will you do? What are you planning? Where are you planning to go? The police? The cafe? Your home? I doubt you'd go to the police. He wouldn't report Tomo for anything, no matter what he did to you. H who says? Who says? Don't speak for me. <sighs> I wonder why. Oh well, doesn't matter. You should just follow me. I don't know where you want to go, but you don't want Tomo to find you, right? I'll show you a nice side street. Yeah, fuck it. I'll trust the green haired guy. Let's go. You decided to follow. Well, that's good. I like girls who have some courage. Although, when it comes to you, it's far beyond the level of like or dislike. Come along. I'll lead you. Yeah, I know, right? Like, why Why are we not reporting him? What? What's happening here? I hate it. God, I fucking hate it here. <laughs> look, look. Next time I stream this game, we're going to do Sheen's Root. And it's going to be good and great. Okay, well, we'll probably finish this first and then go to Sheen's Root. Mm. Mm. I thought about a lot of things. It really is difficult. There are too many people watching around here. Yes, yeah, Sheen is our beloved. This city's the problem. Back where I live, there aren't many others around. Eh? I guess it's fine if I don't think about the consequences, but I know it's bad if I don't hold back a bit. Come over here. Or are you so wary of me? In that case, you don't have to stand near me. I knew I was right picking red. Yeah, yeah, you told us so. Whatever. <laughs> Look at this. Do you know what this is? The shrine still has to be has a really old well, but it's not in use. It's dangerous. They should just fill it in. You see, I actually fell in here before. The water's cold, and the mud got in my nose and mouth. The inside's covered in moss, so you can't climb out. It was very troublesome. Nobody could hear me, no matter how much I screamed. And that's how I died. Was it drowning or starvation? Have you ever died from your body being burned? Have you been stabbed, left to writhe in pain as you bled out and died over an unimaginably long time? Have you ever been hit by a car and dragged along while still alive or been crushed by a falling roof? Have you ever fallen in front of a train and been torn to pieces? I mean, I, I'd assume he's aware of and has some amount of control over timelines. Of course not. That's normal. But I have. Gotta go. Hi, Alex. Nice having you. And I'll just keep repeating this over and over and over again. I can't escape death until my wish is fulfilled. In order to save you in another place, but not here. Oh! <laughs> oh! Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Be grateful that you'll die quickly. This is nothing compared to what I've experienced up until now. See you in another place in time. I'm drowning. See ya, gamers. The water's cold. The gray mud's going into my nose and mouth. I'm trying to use my hands to climb, but the moss just makes me slip. I'm screaming, but nobody's coming to help. I'm sure I'm about to die. Oh. Oh, that's it. Well, we got an ending. And before 1 a.m. 
Let's go. I should have saved more often. <laughs> I might come back again and see if I can get a better ending next time. But for now, I'm low-key glad that I died early there because I need to pee and I need to go to bed. I work tomorrow. <laughs> Let's real quick. Beep, 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 beep. Bonk. Hello. <laughs> well, let me close out the game real quick before I do my full... Uh, how do I quit? Options. No. <laughs> I'll just do it the scuffed way. There we go. All right. That was a, a, a ride for sure. <laughs> and quite the anticlimactic ending. All of that trouble just to get pushed down a well. L, I guess. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. I'll fix it next time. Depending on how tired I am tomorrow, I might keep playing. Because I'm invested and I need to see what happens. You know? <laughs> oh, well, welcome back, Alex. Unfortunately, I'm ending anyway now, but thanks for coming back. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna end real quick now. Because again, I, I have to go to sleep so that I'm not dead tomorrow. I have to do customer service stuff. And that's no bueno if you're tired as hell. <laughs> but yeah, I might be back tomorrow to play more, but maybe not. Because again, I, I might be tired after the shift, in which case I'll just want to become slime. But <laughs> yeah, customer service crews, I know. But um, I'll definitely be back Saturday for something. I won't guarantee. I, I've given up on trying to guarantee what I'm doing. Whatever I'm in the mood for. It'll be either amnesia, Minecraft, drawing, maybe, I don't know, Overwatch or something. We'll find out. But for now, this is goodbye, my lovely little chatters, my sweet little blorbos. I will see you all on Saturday. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs>